happens there, and certainly that can play a role in things here tonight as well for these two teams. Mike Vaccaro, Marty Fair with you. On the radio, it's The Breeze, W240 AS Wilmington, WKXB, HD2, Boiling Spring Lakes. With our man Tommy Gunn back at the studio, we have our Robert Warren teleproduction crew here tonight. Our last broadcast with them, with CBS Sportsnet coming to town Saturday, will only be on The Breeze. So we appreciate them doing a great job all season long, giving you the uh, sights and sounds from Trask Coliseum and what has been an exciting season at home here for UNCW. We pause now for the anthem. Again, UNCW at a home here in Trans Coliseum. UNCW and the Hofstra Pride, the lone meeting between the Seahawks and the Pride this season. Both teams 11 and 5 tied with Drexel, the three of them for second place in the conference standings. Right now, the top four teams would get double buys. These teams in that top four, but uh, very little wiggle room. Mike Vicaro, Marty Fur with you courtside, and this is a big one for both these teams to try to secure one of those spots, Marty. And just the importance of how the schedule fell that you close the year at home. Very difficult beginning, but they wavered. You know, they got, they got through that. And when you look at Hofstra, they're only 4-9 on the road. In fact, the 3-4 and four in conference play. So let's see if the home court advantage can play into this one for the Seahawks. A special welcome to those of you watching us on Bounce tonight. We appreciate you joining us. Again, Mike the Carol Marty Fuhrer with you, Robert Warren, Keller production crew as well. Here inside Trask Coliseum, the Seahawks 9 and 1 at home, as we touched on here after a setback for last time here against the Elon Phoenix. Our Carolina Four Dealers starting lineups now as they're announcing the Hofstra Pride 18 and 11, 11 and 5 in the conference, and they're five unchanged here. They're uh, winners of three straight. Jaquad Carlos, a six foot, 170 pound junior guard from Brooklyn, New York. He leads the league, 10th in the country, averaging over six assists per game. Tyler Thomas, 6'3", 200-pound graduate guard from New Haven, Connecticut, third in the league, or third of the conference, rather, tops in the league, averaging over 22 points a game. German Plotnikov, 6'6", 197-pound junior guard from Minsk, Belarus. He is making his 13th start this season. Darlin Stone Dubar, 6'8", 211-pound junior guard from Charlotte, North Carolina, transferred a couple of years ago from Iowa State. He is sixth in the league, averaging almost 18 points a game. And Jaco Fritz, 6'10", 215-pound graduate forward from the Netherlands. A transfer from Canisius comes in averaging seven points, a little bit more than five rebounds a game and almost one block shot. He had a double-double last time out with 14 points, 10 rebounds, his first double-double. That came Saturday against Elon. Craig Speedy Claxton, the head coach, third season at Hofstra, a record of 64-32, and 32, last year's coach of the year. For UNCW, 20-8, and 11-5 of the conference, third straight 20-win season for Takeo Siddle and the Seahawks. It is Shaikim Phillips, 6'2", 190-pound graduate guard from Winterville, North Carolina, averages 14 points a game. He is number one in the conference with almost two steals per game as well. K.J. Jenkins, 6'2", 180-pound graduate guard from Atlanta, the transfer from New Mexico, averaging over 14 points a game in league play. Trey Zarian White, 6'7", 190-pound junior forward from Mansfield, Texas, a career night with 38 points on Monday in that double overtime setback at Campbell. And the last time he played against Hofstra, he had a double-double with 21 points and 11 rebounds. 
Noah Ross, 6'7", 205 pound sophomore guard from Apex, North Carolina, continues to be that glue guy on this team, making his 21st start of the season. And Kamari McGriff, 6'9", 210 pound redshirt sophomore forward from Tallahassee, Florida. He ranks 15th in the conference in block shots. And again, he is uh, shooting almost 78% from the field on the season. Takeo Siddle, fourth year at UNCW. Again, a couple of years ago, the coach of the year of the conference. His record now 78 and 37. So two recent coaches of the year. They have a lot of respect for each other in this burgeoning rivalry in the CAA. Our Carolina Ford dealer starting lineups, Ford Bronco and Bronco Sport. What legends are made of, see your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Seahawk Athletics. Bojangles officials tonight. Good crew here. Our referee is Roger Ayers, Bill Covington Jr., and Justin Porterfield. Download the Bojangles app today for exclusive offers and the easiest way to skip the line with Bo to go. It's Bo time. Well, from my TV last night to courtside here, Roger Ayers, who was doing the Marquette game last night in Milwaukee and now here in Wilmington for this all-important matchup between UNCW and the Hofstra Pride. Yeah, and I, I think the league's done a good job looking at the schedule and putting top crews in key games. At, Mike, when you think about it, the quirk of the schedule this year, the way it is, here we are the last day of February. Almost the season is over. And first time you've seen Hofstra. It's, it's no longer home and away with these guys. It'll be Hofstra, and then on Saturday, Towson comes here, second meeting of the season after they won at the buzzer in Maryland against UNCW. Seahawks starters huddled up on the floor in their home white uniforms, teal and navy trim. And for the pride of Hofstra, they have their royal blue uniforms, Hofstra in white on their chest, white trim. UNCW Seahawks in teal on their chest, outlined in navy. On this leap day, in 2024, the extra day. Maybe an extra fun night here in store for us inside at Trask Coliseum. Roger Ayers will step in between Fritz and Kamari McGriff. Ball is up, tipped by McGriff, and tipped around a couple more times. Still loose, diving on it. Jenkins gets it away to Ross, and the Seahawks win the first 50-50 ball of the ball game here. As we're underway, Seahawks go left to right. Jenkins hands off to White across the offense. Now to Phillips. McGriff sets the screen. Phillips drives it, pulls up from 15, around and out, and a rebound for Dubar and Hofstra. Gets it away now to Carlos. Over half court defended by Phillips. That'll be a fun matchup here in this game. They get it off to Dubar, right side defended by White. Near sideline, the first touch in the hands of Thomas. Thomas, 12 on the shot clock. He moves it left to the baseline, fades away left baseline. Shot is up and in for Tyler Thomas. A guy who's shooting 42% on the season, ninth best in the conference, and it's 2-0 Hofstra. Phillips, top of the key to McGriff. Left wing now to White, gets a screen from McGriff, pulls up from 15. It's going to be an illegal screen by McGriff. Moving, says Bill Covington Jr. and McGriff. The first foul of the ball game is his and the Seahawks. So an empty possession early. 2-0 Hofstra, 18-57 in the first half. Carlos in front of our courtside location, defended by Jenkins, man-to-man. -man. Dubar sets the screen. Near sideline now to Plotnikov, looking inside. Out front to Fritz, lobbing it down low, Dubar. Dubar, a little bit size advantage, able to get that in and up and in is Darlin Stone Dubar, 4-0 Hofstra. White in the left wing. McGriff looking to set another screen. Instead out front to Phillips. Phillips will drive to the elbow. Steps back. Nowhere to go. Backs it away to White. White with 50 on the shot clock. White on the right wing. Still with it. 10 on the shot clock. Has it knocked away. Tracks it down. 8 on the shot clock. White steps back. Right side fades away. No good, but he's fouled by Dubar. And we'll have two free throws coming up. The first foul on Dubar. The first on Hofstra. Ragged possession, but bailed out on the foul as White put the shot up with less than six seconds to go. Non-ideal spot on the floor. Takeo taking a look at the defensive setup right now. They got a matchup underneath Hofstra last possession. Did a good job recognizing the advantage under. Led to the layup. Now White has a chance to cut this four-point game in half. And hits the first 
Uh, two free throws. First in the conference, 17th in the country now with 205 free throw attempts on the year. And when he gets to the line, means he's having a strong game, which means he's getting a lot of touches in dangerous spots. He's drawn now 187 fouls on the season. Part of why he gets to that strike. Four to two, Hofstra up by two. Almost two minutes into the first half. Caught in the cop between the circles, hands off to Carlos. Carlos around the screen from Fritz, pulls up from 15 and hits a shot. Jaquan Carlos scoring up just shy of 10 points. But again, he's a distributor with over six assists. Six to two, Hofstra. Phillips crossed away to White. Shot clock went off on UNCW's goal as White goes inside the paint, spins, kicks it out to Phillips. Phillips penetrates. Nine on the shot clock, looking at the one behind the Seahawks. Near sideline, Ross. Ross, three is good. And nobody notices that the shot clock is off, and now yeah. the Seahawks coaches are trying to let them know. Yeah, they've got to stop the game because obviously it's a huge advantage if one team is shooting with the shot clock. But good job. I thought the Seahawks bench did a good job. They were counting down the last 10 seconds because they realized the shot clock was out. And now operations will have some prime time. If Six they can't get a fit, see if they've got to lower the basket to fix this. They do, <coughs> excuse me, they do have a backup shot clock behind the goal as well if they need to bring that out and place that on the floor. Six to five, UNCW trails, 17-24 in the first half. But as you said, a great job by the coaching staff to help that, let them know and they plug it back in and may have to just cycle back up and reset. So on the other end, to carry talking with them, Hofstra, three possessions, three clean shots. They've got to deny some space on the floor. Well, that's still out. They, they redid something, but it's still not set up. Now it's back on. 17.24 to go on the game clock. 27 on the shot clock here for Hofstra after that three by Noah Ross, just his 14th of the season. Dubar bounces it into Carlos. Right to left for the pride in the first half. Hands off to Dubar. Caught in the cop between the circles. Loses it, picked up by Jenkins. Jenkins down the middle of the floor. He's got some teammates, finds the trailer in Phillips. Three, short, batted out by Ross. They get it to Phillips, down to Jenkins. Jenkins pulls up, right side, fading away. No good. Dubar the rebound for Hofstra. Dubar down the far sideline. In front of UNCW's bench, gets it away to Carlos. Fritz is about to set a screen, goes inside, gets the pass across the baseline. They get it to Thomas. Thomas three, back iron, no good. Tipped around, still tipped and corralled by Ross. Off to White, far sideline. Seahawks down one, looking to take the lead. Driving is White, attracts a D, finds Phillips. And they're going to say traveling violation on Trezerian White to turn the ball over back to Hofstra. So that's two turnovers for the Seahawks early on in this one. Wholesale will change as the second unit comes in. And we'll have Amar to Harvey, Nolan Hodge, Shamara Tan Mays, Donovan Newby, and Malik Harden Hayes. Entirely five new Seahawks on the floor. They only played four off the bench on Monday at Campbell. Amar to Harvey did not play in that game. Thomas on the near sideline, Hodge defending. Fritz top of the key. Right side, Plotnikov, shot pick of the arc, he'll drive baseline, hang, redirect, and bank in the shot. The junior out of uh, Belarus scores for the first time, and it's 8-5. Hofstra leads by three, 16-10 in half number one. Hodge in the right wing, gets the screen from Harvey. Out front, Rattan Mays, hands off to Malik Harden-Hayes. Harden-Hayes at the elbow to Harvey. Near sideline, Hodge, 14 on the shot clock, a little separation with the nudge, the shot no good. Rebound for Dubar once again, his third rebound here early on. Down the floor to Thomas on the right wing. Defended by Newby. Sideline, looking for a double team to kick it out now to Carlos. Carlos, three is good. Siddle was calling for the double team, but that freed up Jaquan Carlos. He knocks in the first three for the pride. They average over 10 made threes a game. 11-5, UNCW down six, 15-27 in the first half. Newby to Harden-Hayes. Harden-Hayes to the CA logo, backs it away now to Newby. 14 on the shot clock, Newby left off the screen from Harvey. Newby left baseline, bounces it out, threw it away, though into the backcourt. It'll be picked up by Thomas. Thomas is fouled on the shot attempt. He goes hard to the basket stanchion. 
that gets to a seated position and to his feet as we head to a timeout. Our Rage Jewelers timeout here inside Trask Coliseum. Visit your local Rage Jewelers at Independence Mall in Mayfair Town Center. Rage Jewelers trusted with life's moments. 15-11 to go in the first half. Seahawks trailing Hofstra 11-5 at our first break here on Close Sports, The Breeze and Bounce. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Fortune with Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Excited to be on the UNCW campus today to talk to you about this week's Medical Minute. Shoulder injuries are extremely common in sports, recreational, and job-related activities. These injuries can range from chronic overuse injuries to traumatic injuries like shoulder separations, dislocations, and even rotator cuff tears. Sometimes injuries can be prevented, but sometimes with traumatic injuries they are not preventable. But we always talk about preventative strategies to try to limit their effects. One of the biggest things to consider is rotator cuff strength as well as upper back strength in addition to good posture throughout your day. As always, if these symptoms persist, please come see us at Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Our goal is to support you with easily accessible world-class care for all your orthopedic and sports medicine needs. your day. It's time to stop wishing for it and start working towards it. One day at a time. One workout at a time. Your best is not behind you. Look forward. We buy, sell, trade, and loan money on almost anything. Buying? Come check out our amazing inventory at our five convenient locations. Selling? We can give you cash or a loan for your items on the spot. Find the Pawn USA nearest you in Wallace, Shalotte, Leland, and in Wilmington, and we'll work with you for an enjoyable and beneficial experience. Ask about our free layaway plan and check us out at PawnUSA.net and on eBay. There's always a new find at Pawn USA. 15-11 to go in the first half. Seahawks trailing 11-5 to at the first time out. Like we were talking about the importance of taking care of the ball. Seahawks have already turned it over three times. Hopster once. That leads directly to four pride points. The pride five of six from the floor. So the Seahawks really having a tough time coming up with defensive stops. A couple of free throws. Thomas almost 85% for the free throw line. The first good for Thomas. 12 to 5, Hofstra leads it. Third in the league is Hofstra shooting 74% for the free throw line. UNCW number one at 76%. Both free throws good for Thomas. He's got four points early on, 13 to 5. The lead eight for Hofstra. Almost five minutes into the first half. Newby and the Seahawks have not scored in more than two minutes. Newby on the left wing, bounce pass to Harvey. Harvey gets inside, some separation layup off the glass, left hand for Amard Harvey. The senior from Freeport, the Bahamas, transfer from High Point, makes it 13 to 7. 14-45, first half. Carlos out front, defended by Rattan Mays. He'll get a screen, bounce pass to Fritz, looking for Dubar, and it's kicked out of bounds by the Seahawks defense. This is not a deep team. Speedy Claxton doesn't utilize his bench often. They're a bench that averages less than 11 points. So you're going to see these starters on the floor a lot here for the Pride the baseline Carlos gets it into Thomas Thomas out to Carlos fakes a pass keeps it drives it in to the block out to Plotnikov shot fake nowhere to go back to Carlos seven on the shot clock Carlos trying to get free steps back fades away shoots over Harvey and hits the shot Carlos with seven points early on and it's 15-7 Hofstra 14-17 first half UNCW back with it shooting at the goal to our right Win the circles, angles it left off the screen from Harvey. Still with it is Newby. Newby, nowhere to go. Bounces it out to Rattan Mays. Right side to Hodge. Hodge dribbles off his foot, tracks it down the corner. Ten on the shot clock. Still a lot of time here. They get it off to Harden Hayes. Harden Hayes, five seconds now. Harden Hayes goes right, pulls up, shoots over two defenders and hits the shot. It's a two for Harden Hayes. 15-9 UNCW, 13-43 in the first half. 
Pride six of seven in the offensive end. See if the Seahawks can come up with a stop. Plotnikov near sideline. Fritz top of the key. Lobbing it down low to DeBar. Gathers it in and lays it up without even coming down. 17-9, a team that's number one in the conference, averaging over 16 or almost 16 assists per game. And you see the big guy with the assist there. Newby, and it tightly by Thomas. Nearly lost it. Now a foul on Thomas. Will stop play the first on Tyler Thomas and the second on the Pride. So Pride almost overplaying out front. Seahawks having a very difficult time against the Pride defense trying to beat them off the dribble. See if a couple of quick passes can loosen up this defense. Good separation and a shot there, a much needed shot. Eight point game, Seahawks will inbound right in front of that Pride bench. Hodge gets it in of Phillips back on the floor, along with McGriff as far as the starters. Newby, Hodge, and Harden Hayes stay on the floor. Phillips gets it out front to Harden Hayes. Left side, they go to Newby. Hands it off to Hodge, seven on the shot clock. Left corner, back to Newby, five, now four. Pulls up, the shot is good. Two on the buzzer there for Donovan Newby, his first points off the bench. 17 to 11, UNCW to within six. 12.40 in the first half. Carlos will slow it down, look to the bench. Speedy Claxton, third year head coach, giving some signals. Angles in left wing. Now on the left wing, into the hands of Bryce Washington. Down low to Dubar. Squares up, will shoot over Hodge, gets fouled. Gets him on the hand, so Hodge will pick up his second foul. And the team's third to put Darlin Stone Dubar to the free throw line to shoot two. Mitchell Bryce Washington on the floor for the first time, as is the seven footer Silas Sunday, the Iona transfer. So unofficially, Pride with 10 possessions, seven of eight from the floor, one possession, a couple of free throws. Now the first one made here. So they've been efficient. We've talked about taking advantage of each possession and Hofstra plus right now. Seahawks looking for an answer at the defensive end. 18 to 11, a Hofstra. One more free throw coming up for Dubar. 71% free throw shooter hits them both. And it's an eight point lead once again. 19 to 11, 12 20, first half. Phillips. With White and Jenkins back on the floor, along with McGriff and Newby. Phillips between the circles, moving left. He lost his footing, almost travels off to Jenkins. Jenkins, three off the mark, in a rebound for Thomas and Hofstra. The pitch ahead, near sideline. Washington will drive, has it smothered away, blocked by White, rebounded by Sunday. White got popped in the mouth. They get it out front now to the hands of a Key John Robinson. Robinson on the floor, the freshman from Apopka, Florida, working at the point. Ten on the shot clock, near sideline, Thomas. DeBar wants it. Out front, now they get it to Sunday. Inside to DeBar, left of the block. The shot up, no good at the buzzer. Tipped around, rebound, brought away by Phillips. Down the far sideline for UNCW, drives all the way in, off the glass and scores for the first time. Seahawks make it 19-13, a six-point lead. 11-23 as Trezarian White still playing with his mouth, trying to see if it's bloodied his mouth or his nose. A handoff to Barr, now to Thomas between the circles. Into the hands of Robinson. Robinson, far sideline, Washington. Down low, they get it to DuBar. Bounce pass to Sunday through his hands, but behind him was Thomas. Thomas on the drive, loses the ball, picked up by McGriff. Newby. Ahead, far side line to Phillips. Left corner to Jenkins, shot fake. One dribble, pulls up, and the shot good at the back iron. It went through for K.J. Jenkins. Seahawks push tempo a little bit and pull to within four, down 19-15. And at the defensive end, it all starts with a stop. That allows you to get the tempo and run the floor. No field goals now in almost three minutes for Hofstra. Robinson. Stuck with it, looking for Thomas Nomos, stolen by Phillips near sideline. Robinson, Robinson three, no good, and batted out of bounds. Last touch, you're gonna say, by Trezarian White. So it'll be Hofstra's basketball to K.O. Siddle, hands on his head, talking with Justin Porterfield, but it was Bill Covington Jr. who made the call. 10.23 to go, Seahawks down, 19.15, back after these messages on Flow Sports, the breeze, and bounce.
as media and advertising continues to evolve, your business advertising needs to evolve with it. Sunrise Broadcasting will help you coordinate between all the different media platforms and deliver a hyper-effective, brand-building, customer-generating program all in one. Sunrise Broadcasting, your one-stop shop for results. For information, call General Manager Valerie Brooks at 910-632-2114. Again. 910-632-2114. At UNCW's Cameron School of Business, we're all about action and experience. From applied learning opportunities to our study abroad programs, you'll get unique experiences that set you apart. Our distinguished Cameron Executive Network will mentor and prepare you for ultimate career success. Classes are taught by scholars and leading industry experts, ensuring you get the knowledge that truly matters. Visit us at csb.uncw.edu. Experience what coastal living is all about in a sailfish boat from Marine Warehouse Center. Sailfish boats have been a trusted name in fishing for over 30 years with expertly crafted boats that provide the ultimate offshore fishing and on-water family experiences. Our boats are packed to the brim with features to accommodate the entire crew. Marine Warehouse has sailfish boats with Yamaha-powered outboards in stock. Get yours before they're gone. Visit Marine Warehouse on Market Street or MarineWarehouseCenter.com. Be your best self with a membership to Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness's goals for members is to feel fit-tacular through exceptional PF member experiences. For just 33 cents a day, that's $10 a month, you'll build both fitness and relationships. The Wilmington area has three locations, including one close to campus on Kerr Avenue and also one in Shalop. Let Planet Fitness make you a better you and have a little fun along the way. Check out Planet Fitness at planetfitness.com. 10.23 to go. We're in the first half here in Trash Coliseum. UNCW trails 19-15 here in this game. Hofstra's led throughout. Their biggest lead was at 8 points at 12-25. Largest run, 7-0. Seahawks were looking one for an over-the-back call. Didn't get it. And then all of a sudden, they lose the possession. 20 seconds on the restop. Last couple of times down the floor, good defensive stops. No field goals for the Pride in the last... 205. Baseline right in the basket. Tyler Thomas will do the inbounding. Gets the ball, slaps it. His teammates scatter. Gets it out front, looking for Carlosen. Saves it at midcourt. Defended by McGriff. 15 on the shot clock. He'll drive it in. Circles it out near sideline. Sunday wants the ball down low. Carlos keeps it. Now he's stuck. Drops to. Sunday near sideline. Five on the shot clock. He'll drive in. Reverse layup short. Good defense for McGriff, who gets the rebound for UNCW. Halfway through the first half, Seahawks trailing by four with the ball. Phillips the handoff to Jenkins. Backs it away against the defense of Thomas. Between the circles to Phillips now. In the hands of Harden Hayes, left wing. The handoff back to Jenkins. Now to Phillips. Goes right off the screen for McGriff. Double team. Drops to Jenkins over his left shoulder. Three is off the mark. Track down the corner by Plotnikov. Far sideline, Carlos angles it right, fakes a handoff, keeps it into the corner. Nice defense by White as he cut off the baseline. Carlos out front, bounce pass to Sunday. Trying to back down against McGriff. Sunday spins baseline with the right hand short. Good defense against Sunday, 7 feet, 280. Going up against McGriff at 6'9", 210. 19-15, UNCW down four, White with it out front. White pulls up inside the arc, too hard. Rebound Plotnikov for Hofstra. The eighth rebound for the Pride, UNCW at five. Thomas defended by Phillips. Man-to-man for UNCW throughout. 15 on the shot clock. Sunday sets a screen. Losing it was Thomas, but a reach-in foul on Phillips. No, look at this. Say McGriff. So the second on McGriff, fourth on UNCW. So 14 fouls, two for Hodge, two for McGriff here for UNCW. One thing that Hofstra does a good job. You mentioned they don't go to the bench much. A couple of substitutes here, but they only have two team fouls. They try to stay out of foul trouble, and it's worked so far here in the first half. 
Near sideline to our left. Thomas to inbound. Gets it into Carlos. Again, we're court side. Across from UNCW's bench to our left. Hopshires to our right. Fritz gets it. Gathers it in. No, no good with the initial shot, but tipped in his miss. So Fritz scores for the first time. All five starters, the only ones to score in this game for Hofstra. 21-15. Hofstra up by six. 8-25 first half. Phillips goes left. Spins back at the elbow to Harvey. Backs it out to Phillips. Phillips, as Carlos ran into him and has whistled for a foul, the first on Carlos and the third now on Hofstra. You can see it on tape, but you don't really recognize it until you're live at courtside. Phillips has that quick step. All of a sudden, the defender thinks he has possession and good position. Then all of a sudden, Phillips just jumps up there. There's that little bump. 20 on a new shot clock for UNCW as White gets it into Phillips. Off the screen, Newby gets it. Newby left side. Spins back out front to Phillips. Drops it to White. Back to Phillips. Open for the three for the wing. Halfway down, popped out. Rebound, Harvey. Harvey on the miss to Phillips. Now to White. Waves Ross away. Gets to the baseline. Knocks his man over. That's going to be an offensive foul on Trezarian White. White got stuck, and good job cutting off the baseline for Fritz. The first foul on White, the fifth for UNCW. Another uh, turnover for the Seahawks as well. They're fourth as we head to the break. 7.58 to go in this first half. UNCW trails 21 to 15. It's UNCW basketball on Flow Sports, the breeze and bounce. Christopher Branco of Oleander Chiropractic wants you to know that you don't have to be a UNCW athlete to be treated like one. Stop by Oleander Chiropractic on Oleander Drive in the Arboretum behind Port City, Java, and you'll get the best care in a safe, comfortable family atmosphere. Dr. Branco has 15 years experience and is the official chiropractic consultant of UNCW Athletics. Oleander Chiropractic is open Monday through Friday with morning and evening appointments available. Most insurance is accepted. For help, tips, and coupons, visit Oleander Chiropractic practic.com. Hampton Inn University and Hampton Inn and Suites Landfall Park are proud UNCW Seahawks sponsors. Award-winning hotels providing rooms, suites, catering, and meeting rooms. Ask for the Seahawks special. Call 910-509-0005. That's 910-509-0005 or hamptoninn.com and support the Seahawks. When it comes to industrial, hydraulic, hose, and marine supplies, FP Fensil Supply Company is a company you can trust. If we don't have what you need in stock, we'll get it. If you need help troubleshooting a problem, we'll do our best to solve it at competitive prices. We call it the Fensil Focus. Simply put, we know trust comes from a good experience, and we've been providing that to our customers from Wilmington to Jacksonville for 50 years. On the web at FenselSupply.com. That's F-E-N-S-E-L Supply.com. Life. Is it getting harder to keep up? Do you wish you still had energy like this? How? By the flow, Linda. By the flow. Come on. Time for Vita Flow. We'll help you recharge and renew for a brand new you. Seven fifty-eight first half. UNCW still trailing here. Hofstra twenty-one. The Seahawks fifteen. Hofstra one for their last seven from the floor. Seahawks conversely no points in the last two fifty-four. Yeah, from timeout to timeout, there were a total of two points scored, both by Hofstra. So low scoring here. And defense for Seahawks uh, a little bit more on display here, and uh, certainly Takeo Cito's got to like that. Hofstra with it right to left. Thomas the handoff to Carlos. Better over half court, defended by Newby. Man to man still for UNCW. Dubar sets a screen. They get to Fritz at the elbow. Looks inside, keeps it out front to Carlos. 13 on the shot clock, goes left, drives in, spins back. Boy, he may have had a shot at the layup there, but we run the offense here as Thomas has it right side. Four in the shot clock, spinning, shooting over Jenkins, around and out. Fritz the rebound, though. The kick out, Carlos fakes a pass, frees him up. Three, no good at the back iron, and Newby has it knocked away by Dubar. 
And Seahawks fans thought there was a foul on Dubar, but it will be UNCW's basketball. Again, they could have called over the top. They're letting him play a little bit. Seahawks need a good possession. Mike, they're still having trouble trying to beat this Hofstra team off the dribble. Hofstra really quick feet at the defensive end. See if good ball movement will free up an open shot. And UNCW, half their made shots have been assisted on here so far. Three assists on six made baskets. Jenkins left of the paint. They get it to White. 50 on the shot clock for UNCW. Crab dribbles to get it inside. Kicks it out. Newby. Newby open for the three. It's off to Mark Bailey, though. Rebounded by Harvey. It never hit the rim. And then they're going to call traveling on Harvey. Again, Takeo Siddle can't believe it. He thought maybe Harvey was foul or push, but Roger Ayers with the call says it's a traveling violation and a turnover for UNCW. See if we get another look at it. It almost looks like he landed on a Hofstra's player's foot and lost his balance there. That's the back end of it. We don't see any contact, so as he goes to the floor, that is a travel if they don't call the foul. Scoring drought of more than four minutes for UNCW. Carlos along the baseline into the corner to Dubar. Dubar's three bounces up off the glass and through for Darlin Stone Dubar. Nine points for Dubar, his 68th three of the season. 24-15 UNCW trailing here with 6.30 to go in the first half. Jenkins left wing, gets a screen from White, pulls up inside the arc, the jump shot, high arcing shot is good, ending that drought for UNCW to make it 24-17, down seven, now with 6.15 until halftime. Carlos to hand off to Dubar, plot in the cop between the circles, Carlos left off the screen from Fritz, they look for Fritz, knocked away out of bounds, last touch by Fritz, and UNCW gets it back on the Hofstra turnover. Good job defensively. UNCW had so much traffic in the lane. Fritz was unable to make the cut. That led to the turnover. Now let's see if they take advantage of the empty possession to cut this lead to at least five. Harvey, Harden, Hayes, Jenkins, Phillips, and White. The five on the floor for UNCW and White. It is Thomas, Plotnikoff, Carlos, Dubar, and Fritz. The five in the royal blue for Hofstra. Phillips gets it away to Harden Hayes. Back out front to Phillips. 15 on the shot clock for UNCW. Right corner off the screen. Jenkins, Jenkins, three. Hits the bottom of the net. That's they get him involved now. His first three, seven points. Yeah, that's what they need. A couple of good possessions, a couple of open shots. Jenkins can cut this lead really quickly with a couple open. 24-20. Hofstra lead is four. 5.27 first half. Plotnikoff hands off to Carlos out front to Fritz. Fritz looks back door, finds Dubar at the CA logo. Spins against the defense and hits a shot over Phillips. Dubar in double figures with 11 to make it 26 to 20. 5.08 to go. Dubar scored four points both games against UNCW a season ago, but already in double figures is mentioned with 11. Off the screen, Jenkins three. No good this time and a rebound for Fritz. Stolen on the pass by Harden Hayes, and he's fouled by Fritz going up for the shot. Did a good job, got in front of Carlos to get that steal. And the turnover leads to an opportunity at the free throw line here for UNCW. Jenkins working the officials a little bit, saying he was hit a little bit on the shot, didn't get the call, but he had an open shot and a good look. And then obviously, as you mentioned, the steal, and now the free throws coming for Harden Hayes. 82% free throw shooter Harden Hayes, the graduate guard from Moorhead, Minnesota. Double figures every game since missing seven games with an knee injury. Hits the first of two free throw attempts. He had 14 points in the loss at Campbell on Monday. And the Seahawks have never led here in the first half. 26-21, next free throw is good. He hit them both. The Hofstra lead is back to four, 450 in the first half. Carlos against some full court pressure, loses the ball out of bounds and it knocked away, they're gonna say by Jenkins over the head of Takeo Siddle. Fourth year head coach for UNCW. Again, three consecutive 20 win seasons, never been done at UNCW on the division one level. It's been done now by Takeo Siddle. Deflected pass as Carlos was looking for Dubar, deflected to the uh, courtside seats by the defense. We'll have to inbound near sideline to our left, 19 on the shot clock, 441 on the game clock. 
But again, again, a good job by the defense forcing the ball back outside after they were looking for penetration in the drive. Fritz got the ball from Thomas, was trying to get it right back to him, but it went past his head out of bounds. A turnover for the Pride, their fifth. And the Seahawks, a chance to creep in closer. They're down four. Left to right for UNCW. Phillips over half court with the dribble. And met by the defense of Carlos. Gives it off to Harden Hayes. Down to Jenkins. See if they try to get Jenkins free again. We see Vanderheim into the game for the first time. Driving. The shot put shot no good for Phillips in the paint. Rebound for Fritz. Vanderheim also did not play Monday. They're looking for some bodies inside for some rebounds here. Thomas off to Plotnikov. They get to Fritz right baseline. Backing down against the defense of Jenkins. On the left wing now, Dubar sets up for three. It's too hard. Long rebound to Plotnikov. Second chance opportunity for Hofstra. Back to Fritz. They go right side. Knocked away and stolen by the Seahawks. It was knocked away by Jenkins. Taken away by Phillips. Phillips drives all the way in. Kicks it left corner to Harden Hayes. Seahawks down by four with the ball. Harden Hayes against Carlos. A couple of pushes. Spins to the baseline. Fadeaway shot no good. And Carlos the board for Hofstra. Plotnikov and uh, Trazeria White got tangled up there as Thomas gets it. Far sideline. Plotnikov wanted it on the near sideline. He didn't see him. Carlos to the baseline. Defended by Jenkins. Kicks it out. Now Plotnikov. Shot fake of the arc. He'll drive in. He'll scoop it up and get fouled. Eric Vanderheiden with the foul. His first, the sixth on the Seahawks. Hofstra to the free throw line when we return here to Trans Coliseum. 3.18 to go in the first half. The Seahawks trailing 26 to 22. Back after this, soft low sports, the breeze and bounce. As media and advertising continues to evolve, your business advertising needs to evolve with it. Sunrise Broadcasting will help you coordinate between all the different media platforms and deliver a hyper-effective, brand-building, customer-generating program all in one. Sunrise Broadcasting, your one-stop shop for results. For information, call General Manager Valerie Brooks at 910-632-2114. Again. 910-632-2114. Hi, I'm Morgan Matthews. Check out Matthews Motors in Wilmington. We have lots of inventory with easy online shopping on the new website, a home test drive and delivery program, a certified pre-owned warranty program, lifetime powertrain warranties, a new truck center, and ASE certified technicians that will keep you on the road. We are family owned and operated, so come check us out and become a member of the Matthews Motors family today. Experience what coastal living is all about in a sailfish boat from Marine Warehouse Center. Sailfish boats have been a trusted name in fishing for over 30 years with expertly crafted boats that provide the ultimate offshore fishing and on-water family experiences. Our boats are packed to the brim with features to accommodate the entire crew. Marine Warehouse has sailfish boats with Yamaha-powered outboards in stock. Get yours before they're gone. Visit Marine Warehouse on Market Street or MarineWarehouseCenter.com. Be your best self with a membership to Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness's goals for members is to feel fit-tacular through exceptional PF member experiences. For just 33 cents a day, that's $10 a month, you'll build both fitness and relationships. The Wilmington area has three locations, including one close to campus on Kerr Avenue and also one in Shalope. Let Planet Fitness make you a better you and have a little fun along the way. Check out Planet Fitness at planetfitness.com. 3.18 to go in the first half. UNCW trails 26-22 here at home to the Hofstra Pride. And defensively for the Seahawks, they've forced four Pride turnovers in the last 3.25. Six total for the game. But, Mike, we talked about taking your key players out of the game. Krasarian White, one field goal. And how about Tyler Thomas? She only has one field goal as well. Four points for Thomas, one of three shooting. It's been the other... Uh, cast around these guys. Dubar, 11 points to lead the way for Hofstra. Balance scoring for UNCW, 7 for KJ Jenkins leads the way there, and Harden Hayes went 4. Plotnikov shooting 2 on the foul, and the first is good. Plotnikov started at North Platte Community College in Nebraska. 
Again, out of Belarus is Plotnikov. And this one rattles in. They're perfect. Hofstra is 6 for 6 from the free throw line. The lead 6, 28-22 our score, 3-14 first half. Phillips over a half court. Waits for something to develop, still with it. And gets Newby off the screen, left corner three for Newby. Halfway down, popped that one off the glass and went through. So Newby's open because of a screen down below. Picked his man off, all of a sudden he finds the open spot in the corner. Three point game. 28-25, UNCW trails, looking for another stop. Carlos left wing, Carlos will drive to the baseline, cut off. Hands it off to Thomas, hounded by the defense of Phillips. Look at the help is Newby. They kick it out to Carlos, top of the key. Seven on the shot clock. Carlos will drive. He'll spin. He'll fade away. The shot up and in for Jaquan Carlos. Showed an array of moves. Carlos with nine points to make it 30 to 25. Hofstra up by five, 218 in the first. Phillips get in the hands of White. Fended by Dubar. Out front, Vander Heiden. Hands it off to Newby, off the screen from Vanderheide in the three, nearly banked it in. The rebound for Vanderheide and puts it up short, tipped around and rebounded to the hands of the pride. Carlos down the far sideline, eyes up, gets it ahead to Plotnikov. Plotnikov three, back iron, no good. A rebound for Harden Hayes. Harden Hayes down the near sideline. Seahawks down five. Out front, Vanderheide crossed away now to White. White on the drive, puts on the brakes. Thomas couldn't stop. An open shot, but it wouldn't stay down. Another rebound for Dubar, his fifth. Carlos on the drive, pulls up right baseline, rattles home a shot in double figures now is Carlos. He's got 11, as does Dubar. 22 of the 32 points for Hofstra. 32-25, 120 left in the half. Seahawks trailing, and now Plotnikov and White get tangled up away from the ball. It's going to be a foul on Plotnikov. Just his first... And the 15 foul is all five stars for Hofstra have one foul apiece. 32 25, 118 to go. Jenkins in. White will exit. So it's Jenkins, Phillips, Vanderheiden, Harden Hayes, and Newby. Newby inbounding for the baseline to Phillips out front. Right side to the inbounder. Newby, Newby three. Back iron, no good. Thomas the rebound. He had a good look. UNCW three for 11 right now from long range. Thomas, the Seahawks won for their last eight, yet they're only trailing at 32-25, down seven. Again, looking for a stop, Carlos will drive in, Carlos hangs, the shot no good, tipped around, tipped out of bounds by Newby, and it'll stay with Hofstra, 52.1 seconds left of the half. Animated Speedy Claxton giving some instructions near midcourt on the sidelines, Claxton who starred at Hofstra from 1996 to 2000, scored over 2,000 points, playing for Jay Wright. And he helped lead the pride to the 2000 NCAA tournament under Wright. Baseline left of the basket. Carlos to inbound, still with it. Out front to Thomas. 18 on the shot clock for Hofstra. Thomas steps back, three on the way, no good. Rebound to Hodge. Kept it away from Fritz. Seahawks down 32-25, looking to push it. Well, now they'll call time once they get over half court. As Takeo Siddle will use his timeout that does not carry over to the second half. 37.3 seconds left in the half. 24 on the shot clock. As Trezarian White talking with Bill Covington Jr. trying to plead his case here about trying to get some fouls that haven't quite been whistled on the pride here. Although evenly called, UNCW 16 fouls, Hofstra with five. Both teams perfect at the free throw line. Hofstra six for six, UNCW four for four. Rebounding story though, Hofstra 18, UNCW 11. But the second chance points is two to nothing. And as expected, bench points 11 to nothing in favor of UNCW. The Seahawks still the 10th best scoring bench in the country over 31 points a game but as I mentioned on the other side the Hofstra bench 346th in the country averaging less than 11 points a game it's the starters that score more than 62 points a game combined the five that started this game so those guys play a lot Tyler Thomas fifth in the country 
as he averages over 37 minutes per game. 32-25, UNCW down seven with the basketball. 20 on the shot clock, 32 on the game clock. Phillips works. Now we'll make a move left. Nine on the shot clock. Phillips, stutter dribble, drives, spins. Gets it away to Ross. Ross penetrates off to Jenkins. Four on the shot clock, pulls up. Off balance three, around and out. Carlos the rebound, 13 on the shot clock. Or 13 on the game clock, rather. Shot clock is off. So a Hofstra up by seven can play for a final shot of the half. Driving, spinning as Carlos fades away right side. A wild shot, no good at the back iron. Harvey the rebound, and that is how the half will come to an end here inside Trask Coliseum. 32-25, a low scoring first half here. A defensive battle for the most part between these two teams in this all important matchup. Two teams, two of the three tied for second place in the conference standings as we send things down courtside to what Marty Fuhrer. Um, they're making some tough shots, but we got to do a better job making them miss. And then on offense, we're making too many tough twos off the bounce, too many tough threes off the bounce. We're not moving our, our body, we're not moving the ball like we need to so we can get downhill. So we got to make a few adjustments. I like how hard we're playing, but we just got to lock in a little bit better. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Marty. You're here from uh, Takeo Siddle. The Seahawks down seven at the half, 32-25 the score at the break. We'll step aside and be back with our Pepsi Halftime Report after these messages here on a Flow Sports, The Breeze, and Bounce. You to know. You don't have to be a UNCW athlete to be treated like one. Stop by Oleander Chiropractic on Oleander Drive in the Arboretum behind Port City, Java, and you'll get the best care in a safe, comfortable family atmosphere. Dr. Branco has 15 years' experience and is the official chiropractic consultant of UNCW Athletics. Oleander Chiropractic is open Monday through Friday with morning and evening appointments available. Most insurance is accepted. For help, tips, and coupons, visit oleanderchiropractic.com. Hampton Inn University and Hampton Inn and Suites Landfall Park are proud UNCW Seahawks sponsors. Award-winning hotels providing rooms, suites, catering, and meeting rooms. Ask for the Seahawks special. Call 910-509-0005. That's 910-509-0005 or HamptonInn.com and support the Seahawks. When it comes to industrial, hydraulic, hose, and marine supplies, FP Fensil Supply Company is a company you can trust. If we don't have what you need in stock, we'll get it. If you need help troubleshooting a problem, we'll do our best to solve it at competitive prices. We call it the Fensil Focus. Simply put, we know trust comes from a good experience, and we've been providing that to our customers from Wilmington to Jacksonville for 50 years. On the web at FenselSupply.com. That's F-E-N-S-E-L Supply.com. Life. Is it getting harder to keep up? Do you wish you still had energy like this? How? Fight a flow, Linda. Fight yeah. a flow. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Time for Vita Flow. We'll help you recharge and renew for a brand new you. The score at halftime, UNCW trails at a home here to the Hofstra Pride. Mike McCarroll, Marty here back courtside with you, our Pepsi halftime report. Pepsi, a proud partner of the Seahawks. And again, some things that you like here of your Takeo Siddle, just as he said, those twos have been tough right now. I think they've got to move that ball around a little bit more, even though they do have five assists leading to their nine made baskets. Yeah, and I think the first five possessions for Hofstra they were able to get to the rim at ease. We saw the adjustment after that first timeout. And even when they penetrated late in the, that half, they were forced to kick the ball out. They made a couple of tough shots, as he pointed out, but that's the shots you're gonna give up. You wanna deny these guys, especially with the big guys underneath the rim. At the offensive end, I think, I think you're absolutely right. We've noticed they're not beating Hofstra off the dribble. They need better ball movement, get that open shot, 
And, you know, if Jenkins gets open, we've seen what happens when he can step in. He can cut a lead in two shots. Yeah, he's done a nice job getting off some screens. He's got seven points to lead UNCW, 11 for Dubar and for Carlos. But Thomas, only four points, still one of four from the field. Frazerian White, two points, 0 of two for the field, two free throws. So forget about the Stars. They're not the Stars, at least in this first half. Yeah, but White's got to get involved. I mean, he had the big game, obviously, Monday. But for this team to win this game, White has to make his presence. And he's got to make his presence, not with the jump shot, but down low at the rim. And that'll, if he starts getting points and penetrating, that'll open up the perimeter game. And we'll see if that is a big adjustment here for UNCW, our Oleander Chiropractic halftime adjustment. Oleander Chiropractic, the UNCW team chiropractor, requested appointment by calling 910-799-9700. So UNCW down seven at the half, 32-25 our score. We'll check on scores elsewhere when we return here. It's UNCW basketball right here on 95.9 The Breeze, Flow Sports, and Bounce. Whether it's on day one, in the classroom, on the court, in the field, on the coast, in the community, or at the finish line, Seahawks soar together, soar high, soar far, soar together. Life. Is it getting harder to keep up? Do you wish you still had energy like this? How? By the flow, Linda. By the flow. Come on. Time for Vita Flow. We'll help you recharge and renew for a brand new you. We buy, sell, trade, and loan money on almost anything. Buying? Come check out our amazing inventory at our five convenient locations. Selling? We can give you cash or a loan for your items on the spot. Find the Pawn USA nearest you in Wallace, Shalotte, Leland, and in Wilmington, and we'll work with you for an enjoyable and beneficial experience. Ask about our free layaway plan and check us out at PawnUSA.net and on eBay. There's always a new find at Pawn USA. Kennedy's Real Estate Service is your local company for all your residential, brokerage, management, and appraisal needs in the Wilmington and New Hanover County area. Tim is not only a UNCW alumni, he has been your friendly broker since 1994 and providing residential appraisals since 1997. Give him a call, 910-799-1068, or visit him on the web at KennedyRES.com. This is where everything starts. It's a place of new beginnings, new opportunities, and a new identity. We are the Coastal Athletic Association, and from the beaches to the city streets, we are united to succeed at an elite level, in competition, in our communities, in our lives. This is the tide that lifts us, the fire that burns inside all of us. This is our moment, our new chapter. We are the CAA, and we are united in excellence. 32-25, UNCW trails Hofstra by seven at halftime inside Trask Coliseum. Well, a full night here on this Thursday night in conference play. Seven games in all. This is one of those seven. Let's take a look at the Coastline Insurance CA scoreboard to see what's going on elsewhere. The next opponent for UNCW will be Towson. And no problems at halftime. They lead by 21 in North Carolina a and They're doubled up on the Aggies, 42-21 to the score there at halftime. Halftime in Charleston, and Charleston no problems against Campbell. Up 55-33 at the break. Again, a Charleston win, and they secure the regular season championship and the top seed in the tournament. 
at Delaware. Delaware leads Northeastern 42-38, 18-22 in the second half. Stony Brook leads at Drexel. Drexel won the teams tied with Hofstra and UNCW for second place in the standings at halftime. Stony Brook 35 and Drexel uh, uh, 30. So 35-30, a five-point lead for the Seawolves at halftime. William and Mary leads at Elon at halftime, 42-39. And at Hampton, Hampton a one-point lead against Monmouth at the intermission, 27-26 the score there. So some interesting scores, certainly that Drexel score, the Townsend score, but the Drexel score right now, the one Seahawk fans maybe are most interested in with Drexel trailing Stony Brook by five at home at halftime. That's our Coastline Insurance CAA scoreboard. When they shop, you win. Get a home, auto, or small business quote today. Offices located in Southport, Oak Island, Riceville Beach, and online at coastlineinsurance.com. Again, 32-25, the score at the intermission here in Trash Coliseum. We'll take a break back with the second half after some halftime stats as well when we return. It's UNCW Basketball on Flow Sports, the breeze and bounce. As media and advertising continues to evolve, your business advertising needs to evolve with it. Sunrise Broadcasting will help you coordinate between all the different media platforms and deliver a hyper-effective, brand-building, customer-generating program all in one. Sunrise Broadcasting, your one-stop shop for results. For information, call General Manager Valerie Brooks at 910-632-2114. Josh Farber here for Capital Ford Lincoln of Wilmington and proud UNCW graduate. At Capital, we want to service all your automotive needs now with two full-service Wilmington locations. Ford on Oleander Drive and Lincoln on Market Street. We have you covered with new and pre-owned sales, vehicle maintenance and repair, mobile service, parts, and even collision repair. So come see us on Oleander Drive or Market Street for the largest selection of new Fords and Lincolns in eastern North Carolina. Or check us out online at capitalfordofwilmington.com. And remember, go Seahawks! Experience what coastal living is all about in a sailfish boat from Marine Warehouse Center. Sailfish boats have been a trusted name in fishing for over 30 years with expertly crafted boats that provide the ultimate offshore fishing and on-water family experiences. Our boats are packed to the brim with features to accommodate the entire crew. Marine Warehouse has sailfish boats with Yamaha-powered outboards in stock. Get yours before they're gone. Visit Marine Warehouse on Market Street or MarineWarehouseCenter.com. Be your best self with a membership to Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness's goals for members is to feel fit-tacular through exceptional PF member experiences. For just 33 cents a day, that's $10 a month, you'll build both fitness and relationships. The Wilmington area has three locations, including one close to campus on Kerr Avenue and also one in Shalope. Let Planet Fitness make you a better you and have a little fun along the way. Check out Planet Fitness at planetfitness.com. Dr. Christopher Branco of Oleander Chiropractic wants you to know that you don't have to be a UNCW athlete to be treated like one. Stop by Oleander Chiropractic on Oleander Drive in the Arboretum behind Port City, Java, and you'll get the best care in a safe, comfortable family atmosphere. Dr. Branco has 15 years' experience and is the official chiropractic consultant of UNCW Athletics. Oleander Chiropractic is open Monday through Friday with morning and evening appointments available. Most insurance is accepted. For help, tips, and coupons, visit Oleander chiropractic.com seven point lead for Hofstra at the break as the team's back on the floor we get to our Pond USA halftime stats actually before we get to that we do want to remind you on the radio you're listening to us on the breeze W240 AS Wilmington WKXB HD2 Boiling Spring Lakes Tommy Gunn in the studio once again for us Pond USA halftime stats Hofstra in the first half, they shoot 46%, 12 of 26, 2 of 8, 25% from 3, and 6 of 6, 100% from the free throw line. But again, this is a team that averages over 10 made threes, and they take nearly 28 threes. So plus for UNCW that they're just 2 for 8. The Seahawks, 35% shooting overall, 9 of 26, 3 of 12, 25% from 3, also 100%, 4 for 4 from the free throw line. Rebounds, minus seven on the glass for UNCW. Out-rebounded 19-12 in the first half. The turnovers, six for the Pride and five for UNCW, so plus five there. Leading scores, 
Darlin Stone Dubar and uh, Jaquan Carlos each with 11 points, a combined 9 of 14 for those two from the field. And K.J. Jenkins leads the way for UNCW with 7 points, 3 of 8, 1 of 5 from 3-point range. Arpon USA halftime stats with five convenient locations across southeastern North Carolina. It's easy to buy, sell, or obtain a cash loan. Find the Pond USA closest to you at pondusa.net. Matthews Motors bench points. Again, we've been talking about this. One of the best scoring benches and one of the least best scoring benches, if you will, as uh, Hofstra 346th in the country. And right now the edge to UNCW 11 to nothing in bench points. Matthews Motors, the walking man's and woman's friend. Our Vita Flow game flow and uh, not a whole lot of flow. No ties, no lead changes. Hofstra's basically led for the majority of this game over 19 minutes. The UNCW has not led at all in this game. So everything has belonged to Hofstra. They led by as much as nine, currently up by seven. Vita Flow, the pioneer in IV hydration and vitamin infusion. Call 910-222-8859 to book an appointment and get revitalized. Well, the Seahawks need to revitalize first five minutes. We've talked about this a lot. Uh, I think how this game is played to start this second half. Does Hofstra push the lead at double figures? Does UNCW creep in closer in this uh, deficit right now that is seven? So, Mike, off the top of my head, I think this is the largest halftime deficit for the Seahawks at home all year. And two numbers stand out. One for seven from the field and only four points. That's the combined box score for White and Phillips. See how they open this second half. We've seen them take over in past. They need to have a strong five minutes to open this second 20. Just the 11th game all season, UNCW is trailing at halftime. They're five and five when that has been the case. But again, here at home, they've been very good. They're nine and one. The lone setback, the tip in at game winner by Elon. The last time UNCW was in this building. So again, 32-25, UNCW down by seven. Starting five on the floor for UNCW, Jenkins, McGriff, Ross, White, and Phillips. And for Hofstra, who will start with the basketball, it is Thomas, Carlos, Dubar, Plotnikoff, and Fritz. Glad you're with us here, Mike Vaccaro, alongside Marty Fuhr, our Robert Warren Teleproduction crew. Executive Director Riley Dance as well. Carlos in the pride with it. Off to Thomas. Bounce pass to Plotnikov. Hands off back to Carlos. Fritz a touch top of the key. Dribbles to the right. Hands off on the wing to Thomas. Looks inside back out front to Fritz. Fritz stumbles and he's bumped by McGriff who has whistled for his third personal foul. So not many fouls for UNCW in the half, first half. But McGriff had two. Now with three, he'll come out and Harvey will take his place. It was also Nolan Hodge who had two first half fouls as well. So let's see if Hofstra goes right after Harvey. Harvey played eight minutes in the first half as Dubar gets it against the defense of Phillips. He reached in, banked in by Dubar, and a chance of the three point play now on the first foul by Shaikim Phillips. So Hofstra has a really good opening possession. With a made free throw, a chance to extend this to double digits for the first time. Matching their largest lead at nine points, 34-25, 19-37, second half. Good thing we saw in that possession. The pride really spread the floor, allowed them to have some open lane, took advantage of it. Missed free throw, rebounded by Ross. Seahawks get it down nine, right to left in the second half. Near sideline, looking for Phillips, deflected out of bounds by Dubar. White, inbound for UNCW. His teammates stacked up at the top of the key. They scatter now as he gets the ball into the backcourt to Phillips. 18 on the shot clock. Phillips gets it over half court. Left off the screen from Harvey, who rolls to the basket. Picks up his dribble. Phillips hands off now to White. 10 on the shot clock for White and the Seahawks away right side of Jenkins. Jenkins drives, leans in. The shot is up and in, and he's fouled on his backside was Plotnikov. That'll get him to the free throw line. The second foul of Plotnikov in the first on the pride in this second half. See, as we take a look at the replay, a couple things really quick. Watch this. Phillips feels the pressure, leans in, guards the shot, knows he's going to get contact, but there's no way they can get the ball. Again, good ball movement that time. 
got to the open space. Chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Jenkins, the free throw is good. He gets the double figures, the first Seahawk to do so in this game. 34-28, six-point lead for Hofstra, 19-09, second half. Carlos near sideline, against some pressure, gets it over half court. Defended by Jenkins. Hofstra looks at the bench. Speedy Claxton giving the offensive sign. Angles it right, still with it out front. Now to Ross defending, seven on the shot clock. Carlos bounces it to Thomas, four seconds, three seconds. Thomas will get a shot off. A wild shot from Greeny, banks it in at the buzzer and says, oh well. Tyler Thomas with seven points, his 109th three of the season. Banked it in at the buzzer, 37-28 Hofstra. 18-27 and counting in the second and a half. Harvey near sideline to White. Top of the key, Phillips. Phillips drives on Carlos. Little shoulder nudge. The shot no good. Tipping it up was uh, Harvey a couple of times. He missed the shot. Then it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hofstra. And the Seahawks will maintain possession with 18 on the shot clock. So we saw Phillips try to penetrate that time. We've seen a couple of possessions. White and Phillips touch the ball each time. Phillips into Jenkins in the right corner. Looking for the pass, deflected, picked out of the air by Phillips. Hands it off to Jenkins, Jenkins three, back iron no good. Ball loose on the floor, Harvey, Ross. And it's tied up with Dubor, a held ball, will keep it with the UNCW, 18.02 in the second half. So Mike, we heard Takeo's comments looking for better shots when he came off at halftime. Not sure we've seen that quite yet. A couple of four shots from the corner. See if they can take advantage of this loose ball here. Phillips from the baseline will inbound. Gets it to Harvey, hands it right back to Phillips. Raises it to the top of the offense. Crosses over, drives to the elbow. Now to Ross. Ross in the paint, spins, spins back, fades away. Shot is up and in as it curled over the front of the iron. Ross with five points. And it's 37-30. UNCW trails by seven. Little full court pressure, a little trap. One, two, two, full court pressure. They get to the baseline down low to Fritz. Fritz got free and lays it off the glass to score. 39-30, back to a nine-point lead for Hofstra. Two and a half minutes into the second half. Harvey out front. Hands it off to White. Knocked away at midcourt. And he's tripped up by Dubar as both try to get that loose basketball. Darlin Stone Dubar, his second. Hofstra is second as a team. So UNCW will maintain possession here. In the backcourt, White will do the inbounding for UNCW. Seahawks so trying to get something going and get on a, a run here. The largest run for UNCW was a 5-0 run. Jenkins near sideline of Phillips. And Carlos pushes White away from the paint and is whistled for a personal foul, his second. And now three fouls for Hofstra. So the Clive, which really wasn't in foul trouble at all in the first half, she mentions has already picked up three team fouls. Into Phillips in the corner out front, Harvey. Off the screen, Jenkins, Jenkins three, blocked by Thomas, tapped by Fritz to Thomas down the floor, now Dubar, Dubar will Hammer at home with two hands. Deflection leads to the offense and the leak out for the Pride. And the first double digit lead of the night belongs to Hofstra. 41 30, our score 16 49. In the second half, White, top of the key. Gets it away to Ross. Shakes. Screen set by Harvey. Drives through. Left corner to White. Shot fake. Drives baseline. Leans in. Has it blocked away. Trying to get it back. Carlos instead for Hofstra. Down the floor. Shovel pass to. Thomas, the three is too hard in transition. Long rebound tracked down by Carlos. Left baseline, Dubar spins away from the basket. Now attacks. Defended by Harvey in the paint. The shot no good, but a foul on Amar Harvey will get him to the free throw line. Actually, they're going to say a reach in foul on KJ Jenkins. His first and the third for UNCW. As we get a look at our Megacorp replay, Dubar has been active. Here in this game with 15 points, five rebounds. 
the offensive end. The Seahawks really just, it's been a struggle all night finding the open space. See if this team can get to the media timeout and regroup. First of two free throw attempts is good for Dubar. Seahawks being out rebounded, or outscored rather, 10 to five in this second half. So again, we talked about the first couple of minutes. He's not got the way of the Seahawks. Both free throws good. 43-30, the lead 13 now for Hofstra. 16-13 left in the second half. Phillips off to Harvey. Hands it off to White, has it stripped away, picks it back up. Harvey top of the key. Looking for Harden Hayes, gets the handoff to him. Nine on the shot clock, Harden Hayes to the corner. Have to go in there, out to Newby, now to Phillips. Five, four, three, driving Phillips, phase away right side. No good, rebound, put back is for Malik Harden Hayes and Takeo Siddle will burn a timeout here to stop play. 15.45 to go in the second half. Seahawks trailing 43-32. And our Reeds Jewelers timeout. Visit your local Reeds Jewelers at Independence Mall and Mayfair Town Center. Reeds Jewelers trusted with life's moments. Back after these messages on you on the Flow Sports, the Breeze, and Bounce. As media and advertising continues to evolve, your business advertising needs to evolve with it. Sunrise Broadcasting will help you coordinate between all the different media platforms and deliver a hyper-effective, brand-building, customer-generating program all in one. Sunrise Broadcasting, your one-stop shop for results. For information, call General Manager Valerie Brooks at 910-632-2114. Again! 910-632-2114. Hi, I'm Morgan Matthews. Check out Matthews Motors in Wilmington. We have lots of inventory with easy online shopping on the new website, a home test drive and delivery program, a certified pre-owned warranty program, lifetime powertrain warranties, a new truck center, and ASE certified technicians that will keep you on the road. We are family owned and operated, so come check us out and become a member of the Matthews Motors family today. Experience what coastal living is all about in a sailfish boat from Marine Warehouse Center. Sailfish boats have been a trusted name in fishing for over 30 years with expertly crafted boats that provide the ultimate offshore fishing and on-water family experiences. Our boats are packed to the brim with features to accommodate the entire crew. Marine Warehouse has sailfish boats with Yamaha-powered outboards in stock. Get yours before they're gone. Visit Marine Warehouse on Market Street or MarineWarehouseCenter.com. Be your best self with a membership to Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness's goals for members is to feel fit-tacular through exceptional PF member experiences. For just 33 cents a day, that's $10 a month, you'll build both fitness and relationships. The Wilmington area has three locations, including one close to campus on Kerr Avenue and also one in Shalot. Let Planet Fitness make you a better you and have a little fun along the way. Check out Planet Fitness at planetfitness.com. 15:45, second half, 43-32 Hofstra as they have been able to expand on their halftime lead. So we talked about how efficient they have been offensively. They opened the first half seven for eight from the floor. They're four for five right now. Hofstra up 11 with the basketball after that putback from Harden Hayes. Platnikov on the right wing. Bounces it to Fritz, top of the key. Holds it high, looking inside. Stolen by White at the baseline. Saved it into Harden Hayes to Phillips. Back to Harden Hayes. He wanted it, throws it up. Oh, what a circus shot. He banked it in. He threw it almost behind his back. A little English on it. Able to score. Seahawks down 43 34, 15 14 to go. Perfect description. Just throw it up, and down she went. You need a couple of those. Thomas, she had a bank three earlier, gets the ball on the left wing, defended by Phillips, nearly knocked away by Phillips, smothering defense. Thomas is seven points on two of six. Thomas will drive baseline, pulls up, tough shot, short, good defense, rebound, White. 
Seahawks getting the crowd back into it ahead to Harvey. Harvey layup in transition. And the Seahawks a mini run forcing Speedy Claxton to call a timeout. The crowd comes to life. 14.43 to go in the second half. Seahawks trailing 43-36. And we'll take a timeout. Stay with us. It's UNCW basketball here on Flow Sports to Breeze and Bounce. Well, we're waiting. I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. You got to give me a fight. Why don't you just let me be? Hampton Inn University and Hampton Inn and Suites Landfall Park are proud UNCW Seahawks sponsors. Award-winning hotels providing rooms, suites, catering, and meeting rooms. Ask for the Seahawks special. Call 910-509-0005. That's 910-509-0005 or HamptonInn.com and support the Seahawks. I've built the perfect tailgate. Phil won't know what hit him. With Bojangles, you can tailgate like a legend, not like a Phil. It's a touchdown! Hey guys, can I have some more? It's bow time. Open the Bojangles app and order your tailgate box. At Bob King Buick GMC, we're dedicated to giving our customers the royal treatment they deserve. Whether you're looking for a new or pre-owned vehicle or need help servicing your current one, we treat every customer like royalty. At Bob King, we believe the royal treatment should be available to everyone. Stop in and see why so many drivers have trusted us for all of their automotive needs for over 50 years. Experience the royal treatment at Bob King Buick GMC today. It's bow time. Hurry into Bojangles for two scratch-made sizzling sausage biscuits for just four bucks. One bite and you'll want breakfast for dinner. Good thing we serve savory sausage biscuits all day. But this two for four deal won't last forever. It's bow time. UNCW put a run together, 14.43 to go. They trail 43-36. 6-0 it all starts at the defensive end. And with those defensive stops, you can see they're trying to all of a sudden play baseline to baseline, beat the defense down the floor, convert at one end, see if they can get another stop and cut this lead. Ten fast break points for UNCW here in this game. They're 40th in the country, averaging over 13 fast break points per contest. Looking for another stop. Newby defends Carlos out front. Bounce pass to Fritz, top of the key. Fritz hands it off to Thomas. Two defenders, White and Harvey, helping out. Now just White on Thomas, backs it away with 10 on the shot clock. Thomas left wing. Thomas will drive it baseline. Gets it out to Carlos from under the basket. The pass, the three, too hard. Tracked down the rebound, Newby. And the Seahawks look to extend this run. Down 43-36. 14.05 and counting in the second and a half. Phillips gets it off to Newby. Newby left wing. Looking for White being fronted right now by Dubar. White gets it now. Nine on the shot clock. White trying to get into the paint. Hook shot, right hand short. Right there was Harvey, but it's taken away by Carlos. Hofstra looks to push it near sideline. Passes up a transition three as Thomas gets it a baseline, defended by Newby. Fadeaway shot, rims out, rebound to Harvey for UNCW, his sixth rebound here. Phillips drives in, Phillips shot blocked away out of bounds by Fritz. UNCW will inbound for the baseline, down by seven. So you can see the Seahawks continue to force the pace, try to play up tempo. Hofstra scoreless in the last 251. Seahawks need to take advantage of it. Bounce the ball into White near sideline. White into the paint, steps it through. He's stuck with it. Where does he go with it? He'll take the shot with the right hand and hit it. Over Bryce Washington. Trezarian White, his first field goal of the game. And it's 43-38, UNCW within five. 13-10, second half. And for the first time in this game, he's getting the ball down low where he needs it. Dubar left baseline defended by Newby. 
Drives the baseline, cut up by Harvey, helping out. Out front to Carlos with nine on the shot clock. Carlos drives into traffic, stripped away and stolen by Newby. Newby near sideline to Harden Hayes. Harden Hayes left wing. He'll back it out now to White, top of the key. Works against Carlos. Drives, steps through, hangs up and in! And the Seahawks continue the comeback. A 10-0 run. Down 43-40, 12.33 to go. Fans come to their feet here inside Trash Coliseum. Knocked away out of bounds. Last touch by Hofstra. Seahawks will get it back. So we talked about White needed to step up, and then we saw defensively Phillips with the steal. Look at this. On the transition, plenty of contact and the layup. As you may mention, all of a sudden it's a 10-0 run. The shots haven't been easier but the Seahawks are making them. Well, one of the things is all of a sudden they're getting closer to the rim. They're not taking that jump shot that Tiscao was talking about they needed to avoid. UNCW within three with the basketball. White on the right wing. Gets it out to Jenkins, top of the key. Steps back near sideline, Newby. Seven on the shot clock for UNCW. Now four, Newby. He's got a thing shot here soon. The Cutter, Harden Hayes, the shot no good. It's going to be a shot clock violation. A lot of contact, no whistles. And it'll be a Hofstra's basketball on the first turnover by UNCW the half. I think that was one of the examples that it was so deep in the shot clock, the officials almost made the decision they were going to bail out the shooter with only one second left. See again if the Seahawks can come up with a defensive stop. That's been the key to the run. 43-40, Hofstra with the ball, up by three. Fritz has it knocked away. Newby up with it. Newby will drive, lays it off the glass for Seahawks within one. Well, they were looking for Fritz, who was knocked away out of the hands of Duvar. And it's 43-42, a one-point lead for the Pride. 11-40 to go in the second half. And you can tell Hofstra's just trying to get to immediate timeout. Seahawks keeping the pressure on. Carlos away to Duvar, far sideline. Down low to Thomas, defended by Newby with eight on the shot clock. Thomas trying to operate, fades away. The shot too hard, rebound at the fingertips of White. Corrals it, the Seahawks have never let in this game a chance here. White almost loses it, knocked away near sideline by Carlos. It'll stay with UNCW, and they'll have it after immediate timeouts. And they'll go to break with a scoring drought of 5-0-7. And the Seahawks in a 12-0 run, 43-42, 11-13 to go. The Seahawks mounting a comeback, looking for the lead when we return here on Flow Sports, the breeze and bounce. As media and advertising continues to evolve, your business advertising needs to evolve with it. Sunrise Broadcasting will help you coordinate between all the different media platforms and deliver a hyper-effective, brand-building, customer-generating program all in one. Sunrise Broadcasting, your one-stop shop for results. For information, call General Manager Valerie Brooks at 910-632-2114. 910-632-2114. Experience what coastal living is all about in a sailfish boat from Marine Warehouse Center. Sailfish boats have been a trusted name in fishing for over 30 years with expertly crafted boats that provide the ultimate offshore fishing and on-water family experiences. Our boats are packed to the brim with features to accommodate the entire crew. Marine Warehouse has sailfish boats with Yamaha powered outboards in stock. Get yours before they're gone. Visit Marine Warehouse on Market Street or MarineWarehouseCenter.com. Be your best self with a membership to Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness's goals for members is to feel fit-tacular through exceptional PF member experiences. For just 33 cents a day, that's $10 a month, you'll build both fitness and relationships. The Wilmington area has three locations, including one close to campus on Kerr Avenue and also one in Shalope. Let Planet Fitness make you a better you and have a little fun along the way. Check out Planet Fitness at planetfitness.com. Is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys. 
and hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day, the walk-on's way. Eleven thirteen to go in the second half. UNCW to within one, down 43-42 on this 12-0 run, Marty. And it all starts at the defensive end. They forced four pride turnovers, then a scoring drought of 5.07. Again, four turnovers in that last 5.07. Pride 0 for 5 from the floor. Meanwhile, the Seahawks, six of their last eight. UNCW 12 fast break points in the half court here coming out of the timeout, 23 on the shot clock. Into the hands of White. UNCW has never led in this game. A chance here with a bucket. White on the right wing. Looking for a lane. He'll pull up, shoots over. Thomas it hits a shot. The Seahawks lead 44-43. They get Trezarian White into the mix. And the Seahawks enjoy their first lead of the ball game. Carlos to the right baseline. Stuck, kicks it out to Thomas in the right corner. Defended by Jenkins. Drives it left, trying to back him down on the block. Double team deflected out to Carlos. Ten on the shot clock. Carlos pulls up and hits a shot inside the arc. Jaquan Carlos, first points of the second half. 13 for the game to make it 45-44. A one-point lead for Hofstra. 10-27 and counting. Phillips to hand off to White. Out front now to Jenkins. Jenkins near sideline to Harden Hayes. Bounces it left baseline to White. Defended by Dubar. White steps it through. Far sideline finds Phillips, jump shot from three, connects. Shai Keem Phillips with five points, surpassing Jalen Sims for eighth place in the scoring list. More importantly, the Seahawks up by two, 47-45. So Hofstra collapses on White. That allowed the open shot in the corner. Good ball movement again. Carlos left wing, out front Dubar. Dubar spots up, three, all net. Garland Stone Dubar, he's got 20 points tonight. His second three of the game silences the crowd and gives Hofstra the lead, 48-47 our score, 9.34 to go. Phillips near sideline, Jenkins on the left wing. Feeds White, defended by Dubar once again, 14 on the shot clock, squares up. White trying to get into the paint, double team. Spinning, kicks it out to Phillips, but passes reach out of bounds, and a turnover for UNCW, just their second of the half. As White got stuck, Harvey will exit McGriff with three fouls back on the floor for UNCW, so it's McGriff, Harden Hayes, Phillips, Jenkins, and White. This had been the starting five before Harden Hayes injured his knee against Delaware. Carlos around the screen from Fritz and a foul on Jenkins. Trying to keep pace with him, the second foul on KJ Jenkins, the fourth on UNCW. Seahawks with 14 fouls, Hofstra with three. One point lead for the Pride, Thomas gets it out front. Thomas tries to drive, spins near sideline. Carlos, bad pass, turns it over as Jaquan Carlos could not handle it. But give Jenkins credit. He tipped the ball, forced the Aaron pass, and that led to the turnover. Thomas just seven points, two of nine. They've done a great job defensively forcing that pass and the turnover. 48-47, Hofstra up by one, under nine until the end of regulation here. Phillips, out front gets a screen from McGriff. Phillips keeps it, he'll drive, spins it back. Nowhere to go, kicks it out to White, top of the key. The bar again defends. White trying to break free, drives in, throws it up too hard. Fritz the rebound for Hofstra. Far sideline to Thomas. Fanned by Phillips. Thomas gets a little separation on the left wing. He'll spot up from three and he'll hit the shot. He doesn't need much. Tyler Thomas, and you don't want him starting to heat up now in double figures with 10. 51-47 Hofstra on a 6-0 run. Phillips to Harden Hayes. Hunter hands and it's stolen by Dubar. He was trying to pass it. Dubar breaks it away and lays it up and in. A reverse layup for Darlin Stone Dubar to put him at 22 now. This is a huge possession right now. You can feel Hofstra getting their legs back. It's been a game of runs. After a 12-0 UNCW run, an 8-0 run, and a scoring drought now with more than two minutes for UNCW. 
53-47, six-point lead for the Pride. Phillips races down the hill, off the glass too hard. Rebound put back for White, and he's fouled. Boy, down at the baseline is Phillips. He went down a hard. Seahawk fans want a foul. They don't get it there. They do get it later on. And also, Dubar is down for Hofstra as we head to the break. 7.37 to go, second half. Hofstra leads it 53-47. Physical second half here inside Trask Coliseum. It'll be UNCW with the ball when we return here to Trask. Again, 53-47. Seahawk basketball and flow sports the breeze and bounce. Football there. Football there. Football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref! Let the boys play! Hey, grab me one, too. It's Ford Truck Month, and it's time to say yes. Yes to making tough jobs easy with F-150. Yes to a truck that can tow it all. Yes to power and smart technology. And yes to the best offers of the year on America's best-selling trucks. Find all your yeses during Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months with up to 4150 package savings on select Ford trucks. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. The Ogden Tap Room opened its doors in the summer of 2013. The goal? Create a family-friendly restaurant and bar where the locals gather to eat, drink, and celebrate special occasions. Five years later, it's just that. We open daily for lunch and dinner, and the bar is well known for its state-of-the-art draft system. We also have a wonderful patio that's perfect for live music and events. Come join us at the Ogden Tap Room. We'd love to share our great food, drinks, and service with you. 7.37 left, second half. Hofstra leads it, 53-47. It's been a game of runs, so the Seahawks go on a 14-0 run to take their first lead of the evening. Hofstra counters it now with an 8-0 run. Pride's had a run of 8-0 and then 7-0. Biggest lead again for the Seahawks was that two-point edge at 47-45. Hofstra has led throughout, except for 50 seconds of this one. Chance for White on the free throw stripe to cut into this six-point game. First of two free throws is good. He was fouled by Fritz, although it was Dubar bloodied lip. Got 10 to two during that timeout and back on the floor here and the inside position gets a rebound on the miss by White. 53-48, five-point lead for Hofstra, 7.30 left here in the second half. Carlos, far sideline, Thomas, left wing, bounces it to Dubar. Left baseline defended by White, gets into the paint. Shot is up and good for Dubar. He's been the difference maker right now. 24 points, 13 in the second half for Darlin Stone Dubar. 55-48, lead seven for Hofstra, nearing seven minutes left in the second half. Talked about who's going to step up except for the Stars tonight. Newby. Bounce pass to McGriff, and he lost it. Picked his pocket, did Carlos, three on one. Carlos left to Dubar. Dubar, another bucket. Dubar with 26, his career high is 30. He's had twice in his career. Inching toward that here with 6.42 to go. The Seahawks trailing now, 57-48. Harden Hayes, a handoff to White. A 12-1 run for the Pride. Newby between the circles, off to Jenkins. Freed up for a three, short. Rebound for Dubar. Dubar having a heck of a game. 26 points, seven rebounds now. He's had seven double-doubles this season. Hopster spreads the floor. 
Washington far sideline. Fritz, top of the key, holds it high against the defense of McGriff. Down low to Dubar, left block. The shorter Jenkins pokes it from behind, but right there was Carlos off to Thomas, open for the three, no good. Fritz the rebound, the put back off the glass for Jaco Fritz. 59-48, and just like that, the lead is 11 here for Hofstra. Newby defended by Carlos. Between the circles, right side to White. White drives, his man falls down. It's going to be a blocking foul on Dubar. He's been on the deck quite a bit. He wanted a foul on one end. He gets a foul called on him on the other here. Uh, the third foul on Dubar and the fifth on the Pride. Well, I'll tell you, when the Pride have Dubar and Fricks in there at the same time, that's a tough matchup. We saw all of a sudden Dubar miss a shot. Who's on the back end for the offensive board? Big number 11. Yeah, Fritz, 6'10", 215-pound grad transfer from Canisius. Play there from 2019 to 23. They get the ball in. The Seahawks do to Phillips drives on Thomas into the paint. Goes to the right block. Hangs, throws it up. But I don't know if that was a pass to Harvey maybe, but it was plucked out of the air by Fritz. 59-48, Hofstra up by 11. Their largest lead was 13 earlier in this half. They have a chance to match or exceed that here. Told to slow it down, work the clock. It's 5.17 to go. It's been a fast-paced game. Carlos drives the shot up and in for Jaquan Carlos. 61 to 48. Now they've matched their largest lead at 13. Takeo Siddle wants a timeout, wants the Seahawks get it over the strike. And they will call it. 5.03 to go. We will uh, keep things here. As this is a 30-second timeout, but uh, boy, the Seahawks scoring drought of 233. They, they can't afford uh, many more, if any, empty possessions. So they go on the run. They take the two-point lead. Was it Dubar that then came back and hit the three-point shot? All of a sudden, Hofstra yeah. comes right back, gets a three, regains the lead, and that seemed to kind of give them a little composure. Another quick stop, and all of a sudden, it got pushed out now to double digits. And a 13-point game with only 5.03 to go. Seahawks, as you made mention, almost need to get points on every possession. And yeah, with Thomas, not a typical Tyler Thomas, not only 10 points, 3 of 11, 2 of 6 from 3. Darlin Stone Dubar, they call him D Stone. He says, I, I got you. 26 tonight for, for D Stone. The Iowa State transfers had a huge impact in this game. 61 48. UNCW trails with the ball under 5 to go. Near sideline, Phillips to Jenkins, almost lost his footing. Kept the dribble alive, gets it away to White. On the right wing, defended by Plotnikov, backs it out to Jenkins. Jenkins drives it to the baseline, across the baseline, through it right to Carlos. Just the Seahawks driving themselves into a lot of trouble here. And they turn the ball over, a fifth turnover in this half, tenth for the game. Then you're not going to beat this Hofstra team off the dribble, especially when they're playing with the lead. They're double teaming. Carlos near sideline, defended by Harden Hayes, drives it in, kicks it left corner to Washington. Washington, the, the pass knocks over Harden Hayes, and it's going to be an offensive foul on Bryce Washington, the grad transfer from Penn. Whistle for his first and the sixth foul on a Hofstra as we get a second look at it. Great job by Harden Hayes setting up outside that restricted arc. But even with the turnover, Hofstra shortens the game as we're inside 420. No points in almost three and a half minutes now for UNCW down 61-48. They get it to White on the right wing. Drives baseline, pulls up, jump shot is good. Frazerian White in double figures with 11, nine of those in this half, and it's 61-50. 11 point lead under four left. Hofstra content to slow it down now. Carlos in the center jump circle directing traffic out front. Larry Thomas off a couple of screens. They get it down low to Dubar. They were tracking Thomas. That left Dubar wide open, and he dunks it. Great job using Thomas as a decoy. 63-50. to 13-point lead again for Hofstra. Phillips drives. Gets to the baseline. Now back out front. Nearly loses it. Off to Jenkins. Jenkins. Backs it away to Phillips. Feet set. Three is good. The line drive three for Shaquem Phillips. And Takeo Siddle stops play. He'll use the final 
Timeout for UNCW with 3.21 to go. The Seahawks down 63-53. We'll step aside here inside Trash Coliseum trying to get another run going to end this game. Trying to come back from 10 down here on Flow Sports. The breeze and bounce. your day. It's time to stop wishing for it and start working towards it. One day at a time. One workout at a time. Your best is not behind you. Look forward. Jarrett with Wilmington Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine here on UNCW's campus for your medical minute. Here in Wilmington we're lucky enough to have the ability to enjoy a lot of outdoor sports and activities, such as our lovely beaches. One of the more common injuries that we see this time of year are biceps tendon ruptures. The biceps tendon ruptures typically with eccentric load with heavy lifting by flexing the elbow. One of the best ways to prevent this type of injury is make sure you're lifting in a correct manner using more legs, less arms. With Wilmington Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, our job is to help patients avoid long lines and expensive costs of the emergency room. We're able to tackle many orthopedic injuries such as acute traumas, fractures, and sprains. Josh Barber here for Capital Ford Lincoln of Wilmington and proud UNCW graduate. At Capital, we want to service all your automotive needs now with two full-service Wilmington locations, Ford on Oleander Drive and Lincoln on Market Street. We have you covered with new and pre-owned sales, vehicle maintenance and repair, mobile service, parts, and even collision repair. So come see us on Oleander Drive or Market Street for the largest selection of new Fords and Lincolns in Eastern North Carolina. Or check us out online at CapitalFordOfWilmington.com. And remember, go Seahawks! 321 to go, second half, UNCW trails 63-53. So Mike, you were mentioning earlier that Hofstra's averaging a little over 20 three-point shot attempts a game. They're at 15 right now, and that's part of a reflection that they've been playing with the lead. So they've been able to work the clock, get the ball down low. Seahawks need to stop almost every possession right now, and it starts with this one. 63-53, Hofstra leads by 10. They have the ball left to right. Every three minutes left in the second and a half. Carlos out front, defended by White. Man to man for UNCW. Carlos in the pride, content to use some clock. They run and Thomas off the baseline, a three left corner. Oh, it's well contested three and he still hits it. Thomas now with 13 points, three threes in the second half to make it 66-53. A try to answer is Phillips, but is deflected by Fritz. Hofstra gets a rebound, 2.44 to go. Time is uh, the enemy now for UNCW. They've got a foul to give if they need to. Out front, Carlos and away from the ball. A foul on Dubar. Dubar uh, pushing uh, right away from the ball, picks up his fourth foul, the seventh. No free throws here on the offensive foul. White into Phillips, Newby, Harden, Hayes, and Jenkins. The five on the floor for UNCW. Phillips gets a screen from Harden, Hayes. Stutter dribble, moves it right, nearly got tied up. Off to Jenkins with a handoff. Now to Newby, 50 on the shot clock, using a lot of time here. 13 to go on the shot clock, 2.15 game clock. The shot off balance connects to Trezerian White off the glass. 13 points. 11 in the second half, 66-55 though, the lead 11 for Hofstra. Dubar, they're trying to foul him it looked like, gets it out to Carlos now, here in the half court. Carlos in the center jump circle, content to use clock. Spreading the floor, UNCW won't foul here. 10 seconds left in the shot clock, Fritz sets the screen. Carlos to the right wing, five seconds, four seconds. Carlos three at the buzzer is good. And a timeout for Speedy Claxton. Boy, some big shots being made here. Carlos, Thomas, Dubar, the three big leaders of this team to make it 69-55, 1.39 to go. Fans start to head for the exits. Marty, right now, UNCW 
A little bit of trouble when you look at the standings because Hofstra with this win would go to 12 and five. Drexel's winning, they'd go to 12 and five. UNCW will go into a tie with Towson at 11 and six. If their score Towson's holds up, they were leading against A&T. Saturday's game, two o'clock here at Trask Coliseum sold out. It might be for that fourth and final spot in the, the to get the double buys in the CA tournament. Yeah, and the double buy is just absolutely huge because when you look at it, in past history, teams that have not had that double buy, I mean, you're, you're talking two extra games. It's huge, especially when you go, when you look at it, it's back to back to back to back. There's no off night in the CAA tournament. But give Hofstra credit. They've made some tough shots. In the first half, they made some contested shots. And here in the second half, how many three-point shots have they made with a hand in the face? Yeah, that last one was ridiculous. <laughs> it's the one in. They have won three straight, seven of their last eight, I believe it is, for them as well. So one of the hotter teams in the league, they and uh, Charleston. 134 to go, 69-55. UNCW trailing with the ball. Harden Hayes, three. Too hard rebound for Dubar. Dubar continues to have a heck of a game here. 28 points and seven rebounds, 69-55. Thomas in the center jump circle defended by Newby. And again, you try to use clock here, count down toward one minute to go. They can get this game under a minute. Thomas, another tough shot. Too hard this time, rebound Phillips. Phillips down the floor. Finds the trailer in Harden Hayes. Transition three, back iron no good. And a foul at the baseline on Plotnikov pushing Trezarian White. Plotnikov his third, team's eighth. And it'll be White to the free throw line. And one and one opportunity here for Trezarian White. 69-55 Hofstra. So when you take a look at this matchup, Hofstra's really dominated this series of late. Front end of the one-on-one, -on -one, clipped the front of the iron and went out of bounds. Last touch by UNCW with 55.3 seconds left. So you take away the tournament game and Hofstra has won five of the last six matchups. And Mike, so much is how are you playing going into the tournament? And this is a red hot team right now in the pride. 69-55, 50 seconds left. Carlos down the far sideline, fouled by Jenkins. Third foul on Jenkins, just the fifth on UNCW. UNCW on the flip side, they're going to lose for the third time in the last four outings. And the lone win was the win last week at Lima Mary as uh, White will come out, limping as Ross will take his place. So from looking, this is Hofstra's fourth straight win at Trask. We've had the Seahawks number here lately. 69-55, a chance to keep UNCW under 60 points as well. Hops for the last 11 years, 56-1 when they hold opponent under 60 points. They held UNCW to just 46 last year in New York. Clock winding down at six on the shot clock, 24 on the game clock. Hofstra's gonna take a shot clock violation, it looks like, with 9.4 seconds, actually 18.5 on this game clock, 69-55, 14-point lead for Hofstra. They get it to Phillips over half court. Three straight on is good for Shaquem Phillips. And double figures with 11. 10 seconds left. And it will not be enough here at Hofstra. Looks like they will hold on and win this game by 11. So it wasn't a Thomas necessarily. It was a big game, though, for Dubar, who finished with 28 points, eight rebounds. And it runs. The Seahawks had a big run to take a lead, but Hofstra had the answer. The Red Hot Pride, winners of four straight, and they'll stay in second place. The Seahawks will slip now down to a tie, I believe, for fourth place with Towson. We'll talk about that post game here. 69-58, your final score. Hofstra gets the win over UNCW here inside Trask Coliseum. Back with our walk-ons post game show when we return. As uh, those of you watching us on the bounce will go back to regular scheduled programming. Back after this on Flow Sports and the Breeze.
Preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year-round. Then, it's game time, and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. When it comes to industrial, hydraulic, hose, and marine supplies, FP Fensil Supply Company is a company you can trust. If we don't have what you need in stock, we'll get it. If you need help troubleshooting a problem, we'll do our best to solve it at competitive prices. We call it the Fensil Focus. Simply put, we know trust comes from a good experience, and we've been providing that to our customers from Wilmington to Jacksonville for 50 years. On the web at FenselSupply.com. That's F-E-N-S-E-L Supply.com. At Bob King Buick GMC, we're dedicated to giving our customers the royal treatment they deserve. Whether you're looking for a new or pre-owned vehicle or need help servicing your current one, we treat every customer like royalty. At Bob King, we believe the royal treatment should be available to everyone. Stop in and see why so many drivers have trusted us for all of their automotive needs for over 50 years. Experience the royal treatment at Bob King Buick GMC today. Kennedy's Real Estate Service is your local company for all your residential, brokerage, management, and appraisal needs in the Wilmington and New Hanover County area. Tim is not only a UNCW alumni, he has been your friendly broker since 1994 and providing residential appraisals since 1997. Give him a call, 910-799-1068, or visit him on the web at KennedyRES.com. 69-58 final score. Hofstra with the win here in Trans Coliseum over UNCW. Winners of four straight and again helping out their cause. They'll stay in a second place. The Seahawks uh, again waiting for uh, a couple more scores to see exactly where they are after tonight. But either way, it's going to set up a big game against Towson on Saturday afternoon. Mike Vicaro, Marty Fear back with you courtside. Walk-ons post-game show. Walk-on Sports Bistro. Game day with a taste of Louisiana, located at 3710 Oleander Drive. Walk-ons, the post-game destination of the Seahawks. Well, the first five minutes belonged to Hofstra. UNCW had to come back, and they did. They went on a run. They went up by two. But, boy, Hofstra had the answer. Not necessarily Thomas, but Darlin Stone Dubar took over at times in this game, and he had some big moments to get Hofstra back in the lead that they were able to extend and eventually close out this game. It's a game of runs tonight. We saw that with Hofstra, as you mentioned. They got the lead early, played from ahead. In fact, they were winning except for 50 seconds the entire game. And you can see how that played into their offense. They didn't have to take as many three-point shots. And then all of a sudden, when the Seahawks needed some stops, they made some contested shots. But as you made mention, this is a pride team that's now won four straight. Seahawks have lost three straight. So a lot on the line Saturday. In fact, in many ways, you can say, everything on the line Saturday you don't want to finish out of that top four and have to play beginning Friday straight through yeah UNCW a lot to play for here on Saturday for sure you look at this game as you said uh, seven of 16 from three for a Hofstra the Seahawks did a pretty good job on Thomas only 13 points there but again offensively everything was difficult for UNCW even some of the shots they took in that second half boy they were they were you know high degree of difficulty the defense for a Hofstra may be overlooked at times the way the offense plays. Well, I think especially in the first half, they denied White the ball in the paint. The Seahawks really had a tough time getting the ball down low, especially in the first half. And then, then when they did get it down low in the second half, you saw the offense begin to click a little more. But, uh, you know, we go back to that three-point shot. Seahawks take the lead. Hofstra comes right back, hits a three. It seemed to kind of stabilize thing a little bit. And all of a sudden, they go on that run. So UNCW, tough set back here at home now, losing uh, the last two in Trans Coliseum. 69-58, the final score. Our Hampton Inn game recap for all your hotel needs. Contact the Hampton Inn University area and the Landfall Park Hampton Inn and Suites. Find us online at hamptoninn.com. All-star flags, all-star of the game. As uh, the votes are in, Malik Harden-Hayes getting the majority of the votes here tonight coming off the bench. Uh, Harden-Hayes, one of the leaders for UNCW, hit some big buckets, finishes with eight points, three of six shooting, and played at 29 minutes. So his minutes continue to go up coming off that knee injury. 
and Malik Harden Hayes tonight, the All Star Flags All Star of the Game. Visit our showroom and browse our selection of U.S. state military sports and international flags. Check us out online at allstarflags.com. All Star Flags, quality in every star. We'll take another break here in Trans Coliseum. Again, it's Hofstra with the win, 69 58 over UNCW tonight. Back after these messages on Flow Sports and the Breeze. All-Star Flags is the Cape Fear source for all of your flag-related needs with high-quality American-made flags and poles. We also specialize in custom flags and banners, including the championship banners hanging within Trask Coliseum. All-Star Flags offers full-service installation on flagpoles, both residential and commercial. Visit our showroom and browse through our selection of U.S., state, military, sports, and international flags. Or check us out online at allstarflags.com. All-Star Flags, quality in every star. It's just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys. And hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day. The walk-on's way. 69-58, it's uh, Hofstra with the win here against UNCW tonight, back court side. As we take a look at the Pond USA final game stats. And we will start with the uh, the pride here in this game for Hofstra. Uh, they finished shooting 56%, 27 of 48 from the field, 7 of 16, 44% from three, 8 of 9, 89% for the free throw line. UNCW. They were 42% from the field, 23 of 55, 6 of 20, 30% from three, and 6 of 8, 75% from the free throw line. So neither team got to the stripe all that much, and both teams utilized that free throw, but uh, not there tonight for UNCW. Minus six on the glass, UNCW out-rebounded 31 to 25, plus four in turnovers. They forced 14, they committed 10 themselves. Uh, points off of those turnovers, UNCW with 20 and Hofstra with 13. Some other key numbers, bench points, 19 for UNCW, zero bench points for the Pride, but not too unexpected there. And fast break points, the Seahawks had 12, and Hofstra had eight points in the paint. The Pride 24 to 20 was the difference there in this uh, contest as well. Individually for Hofstra, three and double figures. Starlin Stone Dubar led the way with 28, 11 of 13 shooting, two of three from three, also eight rebounds tonight, 18 points, five assists for Jaquan Carlos, 13 points for Tyler Thomas. Needed 13 shots to get there, four of 13. So the Seahawks, a nice defensive effort on Thomas, who played the entire game. Six points, eight rebounds for uh, Yako Fritz in this game, four points for Plotnikov, and that was it. Nobody else scored, only the starters in the scoring column for Hofstra. For UNCW, Three and double figures. Trezarian White led the way with 13 points, 5 of 10, 5 rebounds as well. 11 points, 5 assists, no turnovers for Shaikim Phillips. It was 10 points for K.J. Jenkins, 4 of 12, 1 of 8 from three-point range. Balance scoring after that, 8 points for Malik Harden-Hayes, 7 for Donovan Newby, 5 for Noah Ross, and 4 points for Amard Harvey, who also had 6 rebounds tonight for UNCW. That's the... Pawn USA final game stats with five convenient locations across southeastern North Carolina. It's easy to buy, sell, or obtain a cash loan. Find the Pawn USA closest to you at pawnusa.net. FP Pencil Supply Company, sub of the game. And uh, again, we mentioned Amar Harvey. Four points, six rebounds in 21 minutes, two of three from the field. You don't typically get much offense from him, but the four points and then the, a nice job on the glass for Amar Harvey. He gave the Seahawks some good minutes inside when they needed a, a bigger body to battle with some of the, the pride players. Yeah, and he got some time earlier because McGriff all of a sudden picked up that third personal foul. So, I mean, his contributions were absolutely huge at key moments in that second half. So Amar Harvey, he is the FP Fencil Supply Company sub of the game. The supplies you need, the team you trust in Wilmington and Jacksonville or online at fencilsupply.com. Hofstra wins at 69-58. More to come here at Courtside and Trask Coliseum back after these messages on Flow Sports at 95.9 The Breeze. It's bow time. What's that? The bow jingler from Bojangles. The same bold flavor as their chicken? The same. And fries? The same. Mm -hmm. 
not the same. The Bojangler's back. Hook one while you can. It's bow time. Ah! Preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year-round. Then, it's game time, and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. I've built the perfect tailgate. Phil won't know what hit him. With Bojangles, you can tailgate like a legend, not like a Phil. It's a touchdown! Hey, guys, can I have some more? It's bow time. Open the Bojangles app and order your tailgate box. 69-58, final score. A Hofstra wins it by 11 over UNCW tonight. We take a look at the Coastline Insurance CAA scoreboard to see how uh, this result factors into uh, other results tonight. And from Charleston, uh, College of Charleston, no problems with Campbell. They win 96-73, so Charleston will beat your uh, number one seed in the conference tournament as they win the regular season 96-73 over Campbell. Delaware winners at home against Northeastern 73-67. Still maybe not enough for them to get into the top four. We'll go over some of the scenarios after uh, this. Uh, Drexel up by seven, 39 seconds. Now 38 seconds left at home, 84-77. So uh, Stony Brook trying to mount a comeback in Philadelphia, but Drexel, if they hold on, will make a lot of things interesting. Right now, Seahawk fans are Sea Wolf fans here at this moment. Uh, toward the end of the game, second half, 24 seconds left. Elon leads uh, William & Mary 73-71. It was a final score. Hampton, another win. They beat Monmouth 64-56 as they win for the third time in conference play. And it was Hofstra, or excuse me, Townsend over uh, North Carolina A&T 84-58, the final score there. So right now, if Drexel would win, you'll have – Charleston in first place, a tie for second place between Drexel and Hofstra, both 12 and 5. UNCW 11 and 6, Towson 11 and 6 as well. So basically, you've got five teams jockeying for those top four spots. And here are the key games on Saturday. Obviously, UNCW and Towson at 2 o'clock right here. You win that for UNCW, you're in the top four. You don't have to worry about things. Hofstra is at Charleston also at 2 o'clock. Northeastern and Trexel at 4 o'clock as well. So once again, you've got five teams right now trying to get those top four spots in the double buys in the conference tournament. So for UNCW, hey, just win, baby, and you're in. But uh, they'll take on a Towson team again that they lost to, but they did lose uh, basically at the buzzer on the road earlier this season. So that's the way things are shaking out right now with our Coastline Insurance CAA scoreboard. When they shop, you win. Get a home, auto, or small business quote today. Offices located in Southport, Oak Island, Riceville Beach, and online at coastlineinsurance.com. So interesting scenarios here for UNCW. And, and, and right now, again, they've lost three of their last four this little stretch. They've just maybe mentally more than anything else, they've got to get ready for, for Saturday's game with Townsend because it's going to be a physical game, a quicker turnaround with the 2 o'clock tip. It's, uh, it's not going to be an easy one for UNCW or for Towson, for that matter. And when you think of it, this is game three of the week after yeah. a long Monday into Tuesday. So um, this team will be tested, both mentally and, as you mentioned, physically. And, you know, it's the quick turnaround. So the question is, how hard do you work the kids tomorrow? You've got to get the legs. And as you mentioned, there's a big difference between playing at seven and playing at two practice time routine-wise. Uh, the challenge is there, but it's all there for the taking Saturday afternoon. Again, a, a big win. Uh, whoever wins that game basically would be in one of those top four spots, Towson or UNCW, come Saturday afternoon. That is our Coastline Insurance CA scoreboard. Again, we'll take a break here. When we get back, we'll back to wrap things up. Hofstra with the win, 69-58, the final score right here on uh, Flow Sports and 95.9, the breeze. Josh Barber here for Capital Ford Lincoln of Wilmington and proud UNCW graduate. At Capital, we want to service all your automotive needs now with two full-service Wilmington locations, Ford on Oleander Drive and Lincoln on Market Street. We have you covered with new and pre-owned sales, vehicle maintenance and repair, 
mobile service, parts, and even collision repair. So come see us on Oleander Drive or Market Street for the largest selection of new Fords and Lincolns in eastern North Carolina. Or check us out online at CapitalFordOfWilmington.com. And remember, go Seahawks! Keith Altman with Alpha Mortgage. As a former Seahawk, I know the importance of teamwork. So whether you're here at Trask Coliseum or at beautiful Brooksfield, take comfort in knowing that my team has you covered. From downtown to the suburbs to the beach, give Alpha Mortgage a call and go Hawks! Sixty-nine fifty-eight. Hofstra wins on the road here in Trask against UNCW. We take a look at the Ogden tap room. What's on tap as Hofstra improves to 19-11, 12-5. Next up Saturday at Charleston for them and for UNCW, 20-9, 11-6. Next up as we talk about at home here versus Towson. Senior day, the game at 2 o'clock, 145 our airtime. Marty and I will have the call for you on the breeze. The Sunrise Radio app as CBS Sportsnet will be in here calling the game on TV. But... The Seahawks lost at Towson 67-64 back on January 6th. It was uh, Tyler Tejada, the game-winning three uh, toward the end of regulation there. The Seahawks could not convert with uh, tens of seconds left in that game, and uh, Towson able to win that game. But, again, it's always a physical matchup when you, you play Towson, and that is not a great recipe for UNCW. The third game in uh, basically six days for UNCW, you start the week on the road, double overtime this game here and now it's going to be a physical game on saturday so the challenge is there let's yep. see who steps up yeah and you know all year they've talked about that maybe the difference with this team is they've got the perimeter shooters well that perimeter game could be a key saturday afternoon especially if it becomes a slugfest underneath so we'll see what happens and again right now drexel leads by five 16 seconds seven seconds left now in philadelphia so it looks like they may be closing out uh, Stony Brook. And again, as you look at those standings coming off of today's results, Charleston in first place at 14-3. They'll be the top seed. Hofstra and uh, Drexel 12-5 tied for second place, 11-6 for UNCW and Towson. They'll be tied for fourth place. So five teams trying to get those four top spots, double buys in the conference tournament. So an all-important game coming down on Saturday afternoon. I hope you'll be able to join us if you cannot uh, make it out here. And as uh, well as I say that, we'll, we're waiting for uh, Takeo Siddle. Looks like maybe making his way here courtside. We'll see if we can get to him or not. Well, maybe not here tonight. Again, 69-58 uh, the final score. The UNCW comes up short here at home and uh, Takeo Siddle, we will get to him as uh, he makes his way here courtside. So. Hold on just a moment. We did give you the uh, Ogden Tap Room What's on Tap. At Ogden Tap Room, we believe great beer deserves even better food. We recently re engineered our menu to bring you a whole new variety of delicious options. Once again, 69 58, the final score. Hofstra with the win. Takeo Siddle joins us now for the uh, Alpha Mortgage Coach's Corner. And Coach, uh, uh, you know, come back, big run, but unfortunately, Hofstra had some of the answers uh, after that as well. How how'd you see it from the sidelines? Uh, all the credit to them. They, you know, they're well coached, and um, you know they were more ready than us. And you know those three, those three perimeter players I have are, are elite. You know, all of them in my opinion are all conference level players. And obviously Thomas is a is a um, you know in my opinion a player of the year candidate, uh, if not the player of the year. I thought uh, in the night where we did a pretty good job on him. Um, you know. Dubar stepped up. I thought uh, Carlos did a really good job early, just kind of letting him hang around, uh, making some tough shots. But um, I just thought that the same energy that we used to come back and take the lead, we, I mean, why not have that the whole game, right? And for some reason, uh, we didn't. And we have to find it, and that's on me, and, and we'll get it corrected and be ready to go on Saturday. Yeah, as you see it from the sidelines again, this is a, is a – a busy week of basketball yeah. here. Is, is it physically? Is it mentally? Uh, Where are you seeing it right now? That's probably mental mental more than anything. Um, you know, after you take some, some tough losses, and you're just trying to figure it out, right? You, you know, am I still a, uh, are we still a good team or am I still a good basketball player? You know, so you kind of have those thoughts a little bit creep into your head. Uh, but I, I don't think it's physical. Everybody's beat up this time of the year, right? Um, you know, multiple teams have, have had to stretch where they've had three games in a week. Um, and we've done a good job, I think, as a, you know, a whole staff, as a program of trying to get them their rest. 
You know, we haven't really even practiced the last two days, so I don't think it's physical because you got to fight through that at this time of the year. I think it's more mental than anything, and I, I know we'll be mentally locked in for Saturday because we understand what's at stake. And physical, it will be a physical game because it's Towson. You know that going into this game. Yeah. It's it's kind of a must win for both these teams yeah. to get one of those top four spots. But but you're at home. Is that the edge? Is that something that you try to take advantage of? No, probably not. You know, when you're playing the elite, um, you know the crowd doesn't matter. You know, I obviously you want to have a big time crowd in here uh, because they do help us a lot. But when you're playing the elite teams, you know they they kind of feed into it too. You know they like playing in here. Um, so I don't think that's going to help us. We have to do what it takes. Okay, we have to have enough humility in each possession out there uh, to win the ball game. And um, we just we haven't had that in the last two games. And, again, you are an elite team. This is an elite yeah. program. Is that a message you have to reiterate oh, yeah. to oh, these guys right I've now? I've been saying it. I probably said that a million times over the last 24 hours. And I, I just said it in the locker room, and I believe it. Uh, we just have a little monkey on our back right now. Uh, we need to get it off. And like I told them, after we win on Saturday, after we win, um, we're exactly where we want to be. You know, we're a top four seed. It's an even playing field. Uh, you know, we, we have actually have an advantage over the guys up under us because we got the double bye. Uh, we were a four seed last year going into the tournament, and we made the championship game. So um, no need to hang our heads. We got to move on, and um, we have to win on Saturday. Bottom line. All right, Coach. Appreciate your time. We'll talk to you before that game. Thanks, Mike. That is Takeo Siddle, head coach of the Seahawks, our Alpha Mortgage Coaches Corner. Make your house a home. Get pre-qualified or purchase your next home or refinance today. Call UNCW alum Heath Altman at 910-512-1220. That's 910-512-1220. Well, hey, that was worth the wait. A little pep talk there from the coach. Again, uh, maybe the biggest thing the team needs right now is that and trying to get their confidence back after they've dropped three of their last four. Uh, Drexel did close out Stony Brook 90-86. to So, again, uh, it comes down to basically UNCW Towson, the winner of that game, gets one of those four spots and those double buys. So a big game. It's already a sellout crowd. Should be a great environment. If you didn't get a ticket, you can't make it out. And, again, that game will be on CBS Sportsnet, or you can listen to Marty and I on 95.9 The Breeze, the Sunrise Radio app as well. Should be a good one. Hope you will be able to either be there or follow it any way you can. This has been a special sports presentation of the Seahawk Digital Network here on Flow Sports and 95.9 The Breeze, produced by Robert Warren Teleproductions, along with Riley Nance. Information for the broadcast provided by UNCW Athletic Communications. Join us Saturday, UNCW and Towson. Airtime is 1.45. Keep, make note of that as that game was moved up to a 2 o'clock tip, 1.45 our airtime. For Marty Fuhr and uh, Tommy Gunn back in the studio, I'm Mike McCarroll here from Trash Coliseum in Wilmington, North Carolina. Your final score, Hofstra 69, UNCW 58. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night, everybody.